I roll with these lions, don't try no bears. Well, that don't make shit fair. All these stacks up in the air. Most like keep a crispy pair. We got the betas, we terminators. Keeping their brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gas, we be filling up. I roll with these lions, don't try no bears. What? That don't make shit fair. All these stacks up in the air. Most like keep a crispy pair. We got the betas, we terminators. Keeping their brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gas, we be filling up. This the bet with these bosses, most of these niggas we really don't trust. Coming live on the screen, they lie on the meme, so fuck a lie. Take a walk, then they shoot. Want it, that shit might be rude. You ain't even paying dues. How the fuck you think you prove shit? This don't make the news. Body left, but ain't no clue that just what happened when you snoop. I'll keep your dap, don't fuck with you. I keep on hearing a boss, I'll be on that smoke. But every time I see that nigga, keep saying, you don't know, bitch. This gon' make you know. JJ set up that little show. Just so we can see it. Frog croak, Neo, be on go. That's for sure. Last time I seen the boy, he was copping deuces. Yeah, yeah. Back up on the scene, but he was not with me. I roll with these lions, don't try no bears. What? That don't make shit fair. All these stacks up in the air. Most like keep a crispy pair. We got the betas, we terminators. Even they brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gas, we be filling up. I roll with these lions, don't try no bears. What? That don't make it fair. Up in the air, most like keep a crispy pair. We got the betas, we terminators, leaving their brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gas, we be filling up. Most of these niggas be geeking, they really want clout. Soon as they hear my shit, they switch and they start, they really too wild. I guess I'm really the shit, you niggas right here, you really a bitch. Ryan be up in this bitch, you really a bitch, so you be me. Jumping from click to click, y'all making me blick to the blick. Green dots on the shit, we go hard, you don't want it. On my squad, you don't want it, y'all cause they ain't got no money, I'm sick. That BVS, you ain't got no feds, no. No, diamond dance, brown and neck, put a big bitch, niggas are fresh. Want to drippin' off me like a faucet, hoes just lost it. Hold your lion, that's my team, we live too awesome, call it boss. And what you mean? I mean everything, you may call it floss. And shout out to Ratchet Crip, my nigga, no, we never say I'm flouching. I roll with these lions, don't try to no bears. What? That don't make shit fair. All these stacks up in the air, most like keep a crispy pair. We not debaters, we terminators. Leaving their brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gap, we be filling up. I roll with these lions, no tiger, no bears. What? That don't make shit fair. All these stacks up in the air. Most like keep a crispy pair. We have the beta, we terminators. Leaving their brains up on the table. We just get back and we fill it up. You are the gap, we be filling up. You know what I mean? Hope you know. In the 2023. And I thought you knew. Oh man, man, man. Shout out to Neo Love. Neo One Love. Go check him out on his YouTube channel. He is the Lions Den musical director. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Den. Hey, this episode of Lions Den is brought to you by Common Sense. I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. You know, that's that's, that's been our sponsor for years, Common Sense. Man, we got a hell of a show today. It's been a build up, man. I got some powerful debaters in the building, man. I'm talking about Cosmon Kyle from the goddamn on Creator Creator Gang. Shout out to them, man. Thank y'all for coming over and doing the demonstration over here. Hey, they they streaming it over on their channel. And also, man, we got one of the former Lions Den champions in the building. I'm talking about Tor Knights, one and only Judah Nazareth. So before we get into all that, you know, I gotta introduce the queen, the queen of the Lions Den, Sister Karima. Go ahead. Hey, everybody, please 
like the video if you like it subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already done so share the video and i hope you enjoy all right man hey we ain't debaters we terminators leaving their brains up on the table you know pea brains like sinetta you you leave them little brains on the table when we hit them with this information. Cosmo, yo, that looking a little glim now. Hope you ready for this. Hey, this just the lions den. God dang it, this the den, man. But we, hey, but let me go ahead and introduce the panel real quick, man. These are some of the people who have an opinion about the situation afterwards, and also we're gonna do a poll for the audience because you know what, this is for the people. I'm gonna start off with the brother Solar Mind. Go ahead, Solar, introduce yourself and tell everybody where they can find you. Peace, peace. What's going on? Welcome to the Lions Den. This is your brother, Solar Mind. Um, let the best man win. You know, uh, the person with the better argument and the better constructed argument is going to be the person that I vote for tonight. So, in the Lions Den, you could come out like, what is it, David, right? David went into the Lions Den, right? What's the, uh, the, well, anyway, uh, you can end up like David or you can get eaten alive in the lion's den. So we're going to figure out who's going to do what. And I'm excited about the debate. Shout out to both debaters and let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Then let me see who else we got over here. We, we got, see that this guy right here graduated from the lion's den Academy of education and information in 219. Then he, he traveled over to the Dagger Squad. I'm talking about the brother Ifa Kaye. I can't pronounce the Ifa name. You have to do it yourself, man. I don't want to mess it up. Go ahead, Aki. Yeah, Ifa Gavu Maliki, man. You know what it is, man. Peace to you, JJ. I'm trying to get to it, man. You know, I want to. I want to hear the debate. I want to hear the, the dialogue from both of the brothers, and you know, I want to see who can bring forth the best information, man. It ain't, it ain't about the fans. If the fans can put their personal beliefs in a back pocket for the night and then listen to who got the best argument, we're gonna have a, a a great a great result, man. You know what I'm saying? Is it a waspy or is it the the Hebrew Bible, man? Let's go. All right, man. Now you see what I'm saying, but let, let me just say something, man. Shout out to my, can we get the camera back on everybody, please and thank you. All right. Now, see, I'm going to just say this real quick, man. See, I ain't one of them fair weather fans. I was riding with Dion before Dion even came to the goddamn set. That's all right. Hey, we will be back next week, but that's for another time and another day. But right now, I got to introduce the rest of the panel. I'm talking about my brother, Unbiased Sports. Go ahead, I keep. Hey, man. Peace to the panel. Everybody there, uh, I'm excited to hear the debate. I'm um, qualified to judge and battle tested. You look me up. I've been on Solar Mind channel, Lions Dance, Sonetta, you know, at Garfield, everybody, huh? Pseudo Killers. So I'm just excited. You can find me on Facebook, Unbiased Research. That's where it goes down. That's all I got to say. All right. If you got, if anybody interested in the game of uh, chess online, you go call it Unbiased Sports. Yeah. yeah. I teach chess. Yep. All right. Hey, shout out to Sister Carla and Josh and y'all y'all son and everybody else in the audience. I see you peeking. You're peeking around. I love y'all, man, for supporting us. Now, this is another brother that I met a couple of years back. And uh, you know, he also he 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 teaches about the mind. I'm talking about no other than brother just us. Go ahead, Al. Peace is brother Justice. Um definitely lines in. Make sure y'all guys subscribe. Um, like share this show that's gonna be very powerful and great and very impactful. Definitely um you can find me on Justice TV, all in one word. Of course, you look at it as one word, but ebonics is just us. We gotta believe in ourselves, our minds, and you know, just do good for each other as a human being. That's right, that's right. I am just the uh, 33. All right, sister Karima, and now uh i think that yeah that's everybody so we're gonna go ahead and introduce the goddamn combatants i'm talking about this bro. oh we got oh whoa whoa, whoa 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 we got the lion's den uh discussion champion in the build i've been worried about you man i've been calling you i'm hoping you feeling well i'm talking about the champion of the of our debate league brother apostle go ahead I, he, yeah yeah i'm good man yeah i was resting when you called my fact 
I just got off the phone with, let me first say Shalom. 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 To uh, the chat, the, the, uh, panel and Shalom. Queen La Heffa, first and foremost, much up and respect for the most high, uh, who I love. Um, yeah, I was, uh, getting my old man nap in, <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> but I'm with you now. <laughs> I, I saw y'all were going to be going live. So, uh, I'm here. I just got a call from Eric. He might come on. I don't know. Yeah. Um, all right, but I'm here. I'm glad. I'm glad you feel better, Elder. And, yeah. and, and Kevin Sears said the the lion is the laziest animal on the continent. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, yeah. <laughs> all right. Now it's time to get to the, the to the Warriors, man. I'm talking about man. These what these guys hit the scene. I, I just now heard about them about what was it, about three or four months ago. And they came with the they came with the explosions. I'm talking about the creative gang. I'm talking about the 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 the, the security of the of the, of the creative gang. Far as I can say, he he the most rawest one. He the one that really come with that that smoke. I'm talking about Cosmon Kyle. Go ahead, our keep. Oh, peace, man. Peace and blessings out there, y'all. Uh, I don't have an echo, do I? You got two of your this, things on. You need to turn the table. Yeah. 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 Okay. You take one of your tires, my. I thought it was one of his supporters. I thought it was his supporter. Yeah, that's that's Kyle's mine twice. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll meet your mic, family. Hold on. Let me kick him because he muted from this other one. Okay. Yeah, man, y'all share this video. And moderators, please share the videos to all of, all of your social media outlets, man, because this is going to be some powerful information. going to be some information y'all ain't never heard before. You know what I'm saying? You know, and we, and, and and please be respectful to the, both debaters in the audience, whether you agree or disagree with them. You know what I mean? Because over here, it's about, at the end of the day, we're trying to build unity. You see what I'm saying? You know. So that's what we're doing. Uh, Cosmo must have fell off. So we're going to go ahead and let the lines. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, Cosmo. See, yes. see if we can hear you. Uh, peace there and blessings out there to everybody, you know. Um, just jumping at the bit, ready to get to it, man. Just to um, actually show the historicity of the text, you know what I mean? I, I think it's uh, a wasp is unmatched historically. Uh, you know, um, I would ask that everybody come with an open mind, just ready to learn. You know what I mean? It's not about what you really know, because I'm not here to teach you what you know. I'm here to teach you what you don't know. So love and light to everybody out there. And peace to the creator gang gang, man, and to all the Nirvanian goddesses and uh, peace to all the righteous gods. It's your oh, boy, Cosmo. Right, man. Thank you, Cosmo. Jehovah our Chronicles in the building. And thank you, Elevated Thinkers, for... Uh, 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 oh, man, he already flexed the guns, man. I'm talking about... The former Lions did champion in the goddamn building. Look, look at them guns, man. They, 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 them guns of a champion. Go ahead, Judah Nazar. Flex on them. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, shit. Go ahead and interview your mic. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Jacob 7000. Shout out to Sister Karima. Can you hear me? My good or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear you. We hear you. All right. Shout out to Jacob 7000, Sister Karima. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the judges. Uh, can we unblock? Uh, uh, Wavy Jew, come on, y'all. Come on, we get Jeremiah's up in here. He blocked in the, in the chat. Please uh, unblock the brother, please. Uh, um, I, yeah, I don't block nobody, you know, because I'd be in here trying to uh, <laughs> honor him. He said them puny ass on. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's Great. how I honor uh, it. <laughs> it's funny, though. No, it's no I'm tall, though, so, you know, so I have a, yeah, you know, yeah, I have a yeah, weird yeah. body. So your muscles but, um, stretched out. See, he tall. Yeah, yeah, so the muscles, muscles are stretched out. Tracks. Yeah, on, yeah, man, yeah. Go ahead. Dude. So, um, yeah, so this is Judah Nazareth from the, the Mighty Tour Knights Mafia. You know what I'm saying? We want to uh, put Homeboy up in the casket. And for all of you, you co Cosmo kids in the OWASP uh, cult, whooping up on him is like whooping up on all y'all. Y'all heard JJ say that this dude's the best. So when I when I put him in the casket, that's all y'all got to fit in there. Two, real quick, two. Come on, judges. We need judgment on the topic of the debate. The debate is historicity of waspy in the Bible. Not, not the argument, historicity, historicity. So just making sure there ain't no, no funny business. You know, we have judges, we get judges, come on. According to the topic, you know, L. Yep. That's it. Let's get it, let's get it popping. All 
right, man. Shout out to the chat, man. Look, oh man, Judah, put them, put them cannons up, man. Put them up. You might scare off Kai's mind. Shit. All right. <coughs> All right. Now we're gonna start off with a. a, a, a these brothers agreed to what a, th what a three minute opening. Y'all need three minutes or five. Uh, five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unblock Jeremiah's. Whoever blocked. Uh, we have to figure that out. I don't know. So, but yeah, we're gonna get them back in here. All right. Yeah. So. We gonna the, the, the setup is uh I think was it five minutes? Y'all need y'all need five minutes to open? Do y'all need really need five minutes or y'all need three minutes? Yeah, let's just you need go five, five minutes. minutes. Okay. Yeah, if he doesn't use his five, then that's cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, bet, bet, bet. So you got you got you got up to five minutes to open up, and then we're gonna these brothers are gonna get into three. This is gonna be a long debate now, three 15 minute rounds. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're gonna also have after that, they're gonna do a uh uh what is it? Uh, uh, 10 minute, what, what'd y'all say? Question and answer? Yeah, 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 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And you, you get, okay, so they're going to question each other for 10 minutes. Uh, and then I guess you get like a, well, one minute to answer the question. We don't want you to answer one question, you know, for five minutes, like, like Cap Tazar I try to do. You know, we ain't doing that over here, Cap. You see what I'm saying? This is how we really do it. Then after that, I think they do their closing. And then, we, like I say, we're going to go to the audience. We're going to let the audience vote and then the people on the panel are going to vote but at the end of the day everybody is a winner because we're learning something new so who wants to go first go ahead bro if i go first you ain't coming you ain't you don't get to go because you're hmm. gonna die as soon as i go you, want, you sure you don't want to go first <laughs> yeah. all right uh all right. Cream, get, get the clock out and then we for to get it in and then check it in tell a friend let's go all right, I'm about to show my screen real quick. Can you can you hear me? Is my light good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As uh, uh, soon as Kareem is uh, get the clock going, we finna get it. Hold on, let me get the clock. All right, man. Hey, man, y'all go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe. And I think, man, I appreciate everybody for sharing this. Shout out to the uh, 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 the, uh, the creator gang. I think they sharing that on their channel. Like I said, we are a community of people that's trying to learn and 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 be edified. Let's get it. I've been waiting for this. one. Okay, we got two Cosmos right. on the stage again. I just so y'all know, Kareem, you gotta have to throw one on them off unless you're gonna do two against one. Yeah. Okay, but Judah's oh, going that's, first. That's not even fair. They're gonna need 666 versus me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going first. Uh, I'm show my screen real quick. All right. Cosmo, kids, reach your mic. Smoke. About to just do my five minute introduction. Yeah, we wait for Kareem to get the, get, get the screen right. I'm, yeah. All right. You go ahead and show your screen, Judah. All right, here we go. Let's get it. All right. Kareem, let him know when it's five minutes start. Can't see no. Yeah, we see it. We we letting Kareem. She, she, she yeah, she gonna let you know when the the title is the historicity of uh, which one has more history in their book, uh, Sister Carla. So uh, just got to let them know when it's time start, and then we can get it. <clears throat> Shout out to more wisdom in the building. Just me, Tone. I see some, a lot of new people in here. I appreciate that y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe, man. Nazarene is seen. Yeah. Uh, y'all right? All right. Uh, I, we wait no cream to get the clock. She, 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 uh, she's doing a lot, you know. But uh, if not, I, I can. I guess I can do it. I... Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I start the five minutes. Go ahead, Judah. All right. Are, are you saying the screen? Or... Yeah. Do you start the clock? Because I'm trying to get it right. Yeah, she's doing a lot. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, go ahead, Judah. I, you can start right now. Okay. Go. Can you see my screen? Nineteen thirty. Yep. Go on, on the TV. See the yeah, screen? We can see it. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. All right, all right. The debate is the Bible versus the book of Owaspi. Which book is true based upon historicity? The Bible has more historicity. The book of Owaspi is a book of fiction and fairy tale. What does it mean of historicity? Historicity, the quality of being a real and important part of history and myth or a legend. The Oxford reference is the historical dimension of human phenomena. 
or the distinctive social historical circumstances of a specific event or series of events. In other words, human phenomena would be like human activity that can be verified through history, social historical circumstances, specific events or a series of events, things that transpired in, in, uh, in antiquity that can be verified and qualified by, by history. What is the meaning of historicity? This is what I hope the judges are, are uh, judging the debate upon. This is the basis and foundation of the debate. Historicity should be should be able to. I'm sorry. Historicity should be able to be extracted from each text to validate which book is authentic, from the creator, which creator we'll get to that another time, but, and which one from the fantasy of his own deluded mind. For the judges, do, Deuteronomy 25 verse 15, verse 15, you shall have a perfect and just weight, a perfect and just measure. And your days may be lengthened upon the land of which you have your God is giving. In other words, just judge by the the topic of the debate and the quality and argument there. With that, I'll leave my five minutes. I'm gonna stop sharing here. Uh, say real quick. Let me stop sharing. Escape. I don't need five minutes for my opening. I'm cool. I don't need five minutes for my opening, but just want to stay real quick. Uh, uh, just get into the judges. Just uh, judge upon the uh, the topic of the debate, which is historicity of the text, on the argument, on the uh, the evidence given, and uh, yeah, uh, Cosmo, you ready, bro? <clears throat> you out of here, bro? Oh no! All right, that was a great opening. He had to come with the breaking out the Draco, and now that we got you. <laughs> now we got <laughs> Cosmos. That was cute. That was cute. That, that, that's one of the trademarks, Cosmos. If you ain't been yeah. watching, yeah. All right, yeah. now we got the we got the creator games top security getting ready to do his opening. Man, let's get it. Put the camera on Cosmos. Let, 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 let me write down the time for you to start. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, going to screen for me. Yeah, get okay, in. You know you ready. Yep. Let me and show I'm, you about historicity. Uh oh. I might just kill him. Let's go, Kyle. Man, your time starts down at 22.30 on the top of the screen. Go. Hold on. Okay. Well, tell this me debate right. is called The Historicity of Owaspi Verse Bible, which is more histor historically accurate. Now, in this debate, I would display various scientific methods, including archaeology, geology, genetics, and paleoontology improving the actual and authentic historical persons, places, and things revealed within OWASPI. With time being the major component in any historical <laughs> narrative, it comes as an absolute bonus that OWASPI actually teaches you how to tell time, actually allowing the true sons and daughters of the creator to pull, to put all events <clears throat> on a timeline, intrinsically linking history and time. Now, Owaspi teaches to live to one's high, own highest light, or AKA knowledge, and that only knowledge gained objectively from experience is true light. Now look at this, the Book of Discipline, eight and three. Many are under the prejudice of old things, like religion, like Bible, right? Like the God spell or the influence of a neighbor or a spirit or their surroundings or the impulses of their own flesh. And they say, I too follow my highest light. Whereas they are in darkness altogether, nor do they know what is meant by the term highest light. Often, often like Judah Naz is doing right now, venturing in an opinion or a vague surmise instead and believing they are expressing their highest light. For which reason? You shall explain which, what I am doing right now, that only facts well known or comparatively, comparatively proven are light. An opinion is not light. That whoever professes light, right, or knowledge must know the matter by his own knowledge, that facts, figures, numbers, or axioms can demonstrate light, and that without these, then the supposed light is only darkness. Pursue this philosophy. Listen to this. Pursue this philosophy, and you shall easily discover who among you has the highest light, and we about to easily do this. I would undoubtedly prove the historicity of my individual text. The historical facts revealed within a waspy are only trumped by its prophetic nature. 
proving things formerly unknown before even modern science knows they exist. Firstly, I think it would be beneficial to take time to learn what two history minutes remaining. Huh? I'm sorry, I said two minutes remaining. Oh, okay. Historicity or historical authenticity. Historicity is the actuality of person and events, meaning the quality of being part of history instead of being mythical, legend, or fiction, right? Let's drop down a little bit. Historicity denotes the historical actuality, authenticity, factuality, and focus on the true value of knowledge claims about the past, right? Now, Owaspi says, right, all learning is like a gymnasium to the spirit. Knowledge is the strength of the soul. And with that being factual and the historicity, the history, excuse me, with that being factual, the historicity of a waspy that I would display tonight should not only be very informative, but also uplifting. Like. All right. You got one minute left. You want to say some more? If not, we, well, we I think we just going to go ahead and get to it. Let the boy get oh, to it. Let's get, these, let's get to swinging these swords. I'm going to pull out this gamma ray. Pop! Oh, they got gamma rays. They got gamma rays and Draco yeah. up in here, man. Gamma rays, bring your hey. god off the porch. Hey, we don't make a pounce and pull out his goddamn weapon. Let's go. Let's go. You. Let's get to it. All right. So let's go ahead and get to it, man. 15 minutes. Hey, I appreciate both of y'all energy. This is what you had supposed to bring to a debate, the energy. You know, I was watching a debate the other day over there on uh, 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 Q Butter, and he had some new debaters over there, and they were just reading. I had to tell him, you know, I'm a debate consultant. You got to bring your character into the debate. Mm -hmm. you just, if you just read, I can do that at home. The people want to see you, you know, your character. But let's go ahead, man, and, and do the Nazareth. Let's share your screen, brother. And, hey, you finna get it in. The his which book got the most his historical information in the goddamn on book? The historicity. Uh, 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 Jabari already tried to correct me on how to say it, but I'm saying the way I know how to say it. It's historicity. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, go ahead, right. share your screen. Let me know when you're ready so I can write the time now for you to start. Yeah. All right, give me one. Give me a second. Shout, shout out to Sister Ascent, uh, KOT Shalom, uh, Prince Judah Shalom, Tickler Shalom, you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, Brother Debbie Shalom, y'all, Sister Carla. Uh, all right, man, I'm, I'm through playing with you. You already see, I'm about to share my screen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You kind of choppy brother, a little bit, Carla. Judah, a little bit. I thought he went for the throne casket. He ready to live down. Is Judah choppy or is it just me? Yeah, he choppy. I think it was me. Yeah, Judy, you might want to go out and come back in. You're a little choppy. We don't want to get you going and then, uh, right. you know, we can't hear you. Yeah. All right. And why are you doing that, man? Like I said, we got some other great debates coming up. We got Elder Yara going against uh, Asar and Ka. That's going to be a powerful debate, man. Uh, then we also got the brother, uh, the brother Kyle. Oh, Kyle going against. Uh, 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 Kansu, the real new Bobby, and this is gonna be a powerful debate as well. I got I got a preliminary coming up with Aaron Yahudin against uh, uh, Ben Ben Jeremiah. Oh man, we got it going on, man. I see you, uh, and there's a couple other ones. I might have to look it up, man. But JJ been busy behind the scene trying to mix and match everybody and put them together. Judah, go ahead and speak so I can see if I can hear you. All right, hey, I might have to turn oh, my camera good. off when I'm sure, sure, yeah. my, uh, All right, all right, all right. You sound good. Rearrange my computer, yo. Hold on, yo. Okay, take your time, brother. Take your time. Yeah. yeah uh, Kyle, okay, don't be ready for this beatdown. You about to get it all. All right, get your crank. Shout out to Indigenous. Yeah. I see. I see, Sister Natalie. The, the, yeah. the FO. Come wait on, a minute. Come. The FOP champion is in the building, lurking around, making sure y'all don't make no mistakes. Yeah, dang it, she peeking around. All right. So, Judah, just let me know when you're ready. Now, I can, okay, I can write your time down. Now, I want y'all to know, I'm going off the, y'all see the little time in the corner? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm going off that, then I'm going I'm to post it in the chat to when the 15 minutes is up, so that way y'all know when this time is up. Okay? So, Judah, are you ready? 
If I ain't mistaken, I think Neftali is getting it in with Nepal right now. Okay, well, we're gonna figure that out later. Don't be, yeah. You know, yeah, no, she, 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 she over here, so I don't know how she's doing it too, too. Well, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, all that's right, all the right, part. Right, right, right. Are you ready, Judah? Yes, I'm ready. All right, your time starts at 30 35. Go, all right. So, we're, we're gonna chop his legs off first for the first round so we can reduce mm. the running by 99 percent. The historicity here's an example in one Kings chapter 11, verse 40, Solomon sought to. Jeroboam was a, 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 a young warrior in Israel after King Solomon. Jeroboam arose and fled into Egypt, into Egypt, and Shishak, king of Egypt, I'm sorry, unto Shishak, king of Egypt, and was in Egypt until Solomon's death. So this Jeroboam guy flies into Egypt and under this uh, rulership of this king of Egypt called Shishak. You can find us get, again in 2 Chronicles 12, verse 2-9. Uh, and it came to pass that in the fifth year of King Rehoboam, Shishak, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem because they transgressed transgressed against Yahweh. So I gave you one and two examples, right? Here's the, the qualifier. Who is Shishak to show historicity? Shishak of the Old Testament is certainly to be identified with, with Shishank of the Egyptian monuments, the synchotis or synchosis of the Greek historians. And the identification is an important part, point in the biblical, biblical chronology, for the accession of Shishak is fixed by the Egyptian traditions up to about 980 BC. It is a curious proof of historical accuracy that the generic name Pharaoh is not given to Shishak here, right? So you see here that uh, the, the ship Pharaoh Shishak was a member of the 23rd dynasty called the Bubastite dynasty in ancient Egypt. So you can see here they have uh, uh, it's time around the 980s BCE and it's associated with uh, with uh, biblical characters, uh, Jeroboam, King Solomon, uh, and Jeroboam of the uh, so called Old Testament. That's called historicity. Shishak can be found outside the Bible. It's written by his, historicity. So you can see here uh, the great Smith of Tannis with uh, Shishak here. Uh, Pharaoh Shishak with the, uh, the, the with his inscriptions. Just to show you from outside sources, outside the Bible, where you see his inscription called the Shishak inscription here. It's here in his, uh, in, uh, in his Sphinx age. So you can find Pharaoh Shishak outside of the biblical narrative, right? This is called historicity. The inscription of Shishak, this is outside the Bible. This is by Shishak himself. Shishak Wong, also spelled Shishak or Shishak, flourished in the 10th century before the Christian era. The first king, he reigned from 945 to 924 the Christian in, in the uh, BCE of the 22nd dynasty of ancient Egypt. Uh, uh, see, see 22nd, 23rd dynasties. Shishak came from a line of princes or sheiks of Libyan tribal descent, whose title was called the Great Chief of Meshwesh, and who appeared to have settled in Bubastis, which is the cat goddess, in the eastern Nile River Delta. He was under the general Sinesinus, I'm sorry, Sinesinus, the second last king of the 21st uh, dynasty. Let's keep going. So we're showing that Shishak was a, he was a natural historical uh, individual character who can be uh, qualified right. outside you of the You're messing up. Can you hear me? You're messing up a little bit. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, I hear you. It's, it's my stream yard, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, all right. As you see here uh, in this, uh, I'll show my screen is a little sh uh, small, but if you can see it here, you'll see this in screen. It's a, a carved relief. It says, in this relief on the wall of the great temple of Karnak, the Pharaoh Shashank I, the biblical Shishak, listed in the places he conquered in his campaign in Israel and Judah in 926. You'll see here that this guy, this king, who's inscribed in the uh, in the uh, great the great temple of Karnak, Egyptian walls, also had a campaign, a military campaign campaign in Israel and in Judah in the 926s uh, BCE. And you can see here the king of Egypt, Shishak, was a contemporary of King Solomon, the king's Jeroboam of northern kingdom of Israel, and King Jeroboam of the southern kingdom of Judah. So the people in the Bible can be verified by history, right? You can see Shishak can be uh, verified by the biblical narrative. That's called Jerusalem. Mesha, the king of the Moabites. You can find Mesha, the king of the Moabites, mentioned in 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 4. Now Mesha, king of, the Mo of Moab, raised sheep, and he had to pay the king of Israel a tribute of 100,000 lambs and a wool of 100,000 rams. But after the death of King Ahab, the king of Moab, Mesha, rebelled against the king of Israel. Now you can find uh, outside the biblical narrative, you, again, you can find the historicity of, historicity of King Mesha of the Moabites, of the Mesha Stele. 
One of the most important early discoveries in the biblical archaeology, biblical archaeology, y'all, was the Mesha Stele, and what's now called modern day Jordan. This massive stone monuments from the this massive stone monuments from the 9th century BCE was described in the ancient language called Moabite, very similar to Hebrew, and it tells the story of 2 Kings 3 from the perspective of King Mesha of Moab, an enemy of Israel and Judah. So this king here has a military campaign, just like Shishak, and he himself is also speaking about the story from 2 Kings and uh uh 2 Kings chapter 3 from the perspective of King Mesha, who is a figure in the Bible that can be qualified as person outside of the Bible and outside source and verified through historicity. Now, my opponent here is going to be pulling out uh, uh, Where's Waldo and try to tie that together, but no. These are actual people that actually existed. So this is not a fairy tale. You can see here the Mesha Stone, also known as White Stone, is a stele and scrub stone set up at 840 BCE by King Mesha of Moab. And located in modern Jordan. Mesha tells how Chemosh, his uh, sun god, the god of Moab, had been angry with his people and allowed them to be subjugated to Israel. So, any of y'all saying, oh, Israel didn't exist? Well, King Mesha of Moab is talking about Israel in his own writings in the Mesha Stele. So, again, we're, th we're thus proving that King Mesha of Moab and Shishak are uh, characters or individuals of, that can be uh, qualified through historicity. These are two examples of historical figures in the Bible that are verified by outside sources, showing that the Bible is indeed the source of truth and not some made-up Freemason fairy tale that resembles the Book of Mormon. Okay. As you can see here, here is the uh, the Mesha Stele, again, showing the, the, the ancient uh, quote-unquote Moabite, Moabite script. And my opponent will be able to show you any, uh, any ancient writings. Here's the Assyrian king pulled to glath the III. It's 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 19. And Pul, the king of Assyria, came against the land. And Menachem, who was a king in Israel, gave Pul a thousand talents of silver that his hand might be with him to confirm the kingdom in his hand. 2 Kings 15, 29. In the days of Pekah, king of Israel, Tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, came and captured Ijon, Abel, Beth Maka, Jonah, Kadesh, Hazar, Gilead, and Galilee, including all the land of Naphtali. And he took some people as captives to Assyria. Remember, this is the same king that brought the Israelites the northern tribe of Samaria or the northern Israel into their land and put heathens into the Israelite lands. This, uh, this Assyrian king, Paul Tiglath Pileser III, can be verified through historicity uh, from outside the Bible sources. Assyrian king, Paul Tiglath Pileser, Paul, this name has been read in cuneiform, an officer of Sargon's. For the identity of Paul, king of Assyria, with Tiglath Pileser II, no sign of 1 Chronicles 5 through 6, right? right? Um, just showing you that these uh, uh these there's there's two and three uh tickless blessers they can be verified outside the bible showing that they are, are individuals of historicity and not made up figures that can't be proven through history you can see here tickless blaster the third king of assyria from 744 to 727 bce you can see here he, he says that he received tribute from jehoaz of the land of judah right i received tribute sir we have another king attesting to the existence of Israel, speaking from his own perspective outside the Bible. And this is in the Akkadian the Akkadian inscription on the clay tablet, the Southeast Palace uh, uh, tablet, right? You see here he's talking about uh, uh, various uh, uh, city states that are near the uh, Commonwealth of Israel are also being subject to him, or he also fought against them. But he does make men mention of I received tribute from Jehoaz of the land of Judah, which was a king, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, uh, Judahite king or an Israelite king. So, right? So again, we have these outside individuals speaking of mentioning Israelite kings and the Israelite nation, making sure that our book is not a fairy tale and that it is a book of historicity. It can be substantiated and qualified by outside sources. You can see here the World History Encyclopedia, example 16, the inscription of Puglath, I'm sorry, Paul Tiglath Pileser III, king of Assyria, with the inscription on a wall. You can see here verified from outside sources outside of the biblical narrative. I clearly demonstrated a comparison clinic. Three major kings of antiquity also mentioned by their contemporaries. The prophets, kings, priests, and scribes of the Bible with outside sources with visuals of their existence. The dude's already cooked, but we ain't done frying this cat like a Chinese restaurant. The fourth king, Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, 
and the fifth king, King Saul of Egypt. And since uh, King 17, verse 3, Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, attacked him, and Hosea, who was the last king of the northern kingdom, became his vassal and paid him tribute. But the king of Assyria discovered that Hosea had conspired to send envoys. Five to minutes Saul. remaining. Five minutes. All right, cool. All right, thank you. So you'll see here in the second King 17, verse 30, verse 3, you'll see that Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, is actually Shalmaneser, the fifth king of Assyria. And you see uh, King Saul of Egypt. And you can find them in the Bible. They can be qualified and substantiated outside of the building, which is called historicity. You can see uh, Shalmaneser III. I said that was the fifth. I'm sorry. Shalmaneser III, king of Assyria from 858 to 824 BCE. You can see what is called the Black Obelisk, which is a real thing, which you're looking at here. You can see here it says Jehu, the house of Emery, Ben-Hadad II, has a, a tribute of Tyree and Sidon. You'll hear that this king, Shalmaneser III, is saying, I received tribute from Jehu, who was a king of Israel, the southern tribes. So how many kings outside the biblical narrative are going to keep talking about Israel being in existence and mentioning our kings? And we get these guys saying, oh, the, the Bible's a fairy tale, this, that, and the other. Well, it's funny. Please uh, 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 explain why these, these people outside the, the biblical you know, narrative who have their own countries also speak of the nation of Israel. And these people are also verified, qualified, and validated through historicity. Shalmaneser III, Shishak, King Mesha, these all people are all, all just historicity. Of course, my uh, opponent is not going to be able to show the characters in his book uh, 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 through historicity. The Black Obelisk of King Shalmaneser III of Assyria mentions King Jehu. I received tribute from Jehu of the House of Omri, who was an Israelite king. Silver, gold, a gold bowl, a true tyrant, gold vessels, gold pails, tin, the staff of a king's hand, and spears. In my 21st year of my reign, I crossed the Euphrates for the 21st time. I, I advanced against cities of Hazael, Aram, right? He received, when he gets to Tyrion, said, these are uh, uh, neighboring uh, uh, city states next to uh, Israel. But you'll see here that this uh, king, Shalmaneser III of Assyria, king of Assyria, who's spoken of in the scripture and is verified outside the, the uh, biblical narrative. Here is to also speaking of this, uh, uh, King, uh, King Jehu is verified in the scriptures. By showing King Jehu and these various kings are showing are validated and qualified through historicity. As we can see here that from an outside source from the Bible confirms the scriptures to be the, to be true according to history. For why would King Jehu of 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 2, ever be mentioned on a black Assyrian obelisk? The inscription also serves as a double uppercut, confirming the existence of King Omri of 2 Kings 16, 23, and 25, who preceded the prophet Elijah. King Omri came right before Elijah came. So these kings are verified through historicity. So that these leaves uh, uh, prophet Elijah and the other uh, uh, prophets, kings, priests of antiquity of the Bible, as subject to uh, historicity. Uh, since my time is uh, short here, we are going two to- Two minutes remaining, two minutes remaining. All right, give me one second. Um, I'm gonna stop at, what number is this? Here it's moving. Oh. All right, oh, hold on, let me finish this up. Right, yeah, uh, real, real quick. Uh, Shalmaneser III also uh, records his war expeditions of when the king of Judah, Jehoram, was a part of. In 849, during the Battle of Carchemish, uh, Shalmaneser III in his quest, he describes all the uh, the neighboring seat uh, things. He also, um, uh, um, you know, 848, the Battle of Hamath, and uh, 845, the Battle of Hamath again, uh, uh, year 14. He mentions uh, 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 King Jerome of Israel is also mentioned in the Bible, showing that uh, Shalmaneser III can be verified through historicity according to the biblical narrative and outside. So with that, I'm going to close my, uh, my all praise to Yahweh God. Sorry I had to blow through it so fast, but you know. All right, you have one minute remaining. Okay, uh, do you want to so, yield that one minute, Judah? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, go ahead, Sister Karima, get the screen up on everybody, man. Hey, like I said, man, these ain't no lightweights over here, man. I'm trying to tell you, powerful round, Judah. Now it's time for the creative yeah, game. It's time for the stop sharing. yeah, stop sharing. You good? Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm all sharing, right. uh. Okay, well, let me go to my screen, man. I'm sorry y'all had to sit through that dry ass spiritual oh, oh, cooking. Okay, well, hold, hold, hold up real quick. Yeah, all right. Now we about to get it in. The creative gang is in the building. Uh, let me know when you get your, uh, your your screen shared, and I'm I'm gonna write the time down. I want everybody to notice. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it says live at the top. 
and it's got the time, and I, I just I count it from there. Then I'm gonna put it in the chat that way, y'all. Somebody, you know, y'all know when time when his time is up. Okay, uh, go ahead, Cosmo. Let us know when you're ready. Then I'm gonna write the time down, and you can get it in for your 15. All right, you ready? So to start right, off, we'll, go ahead. For, at 45 minutes and 30 seconds, go ahead, bro. All right, to start off. Well, since we are comparing text, why not start? with the historicity of the authors. Historical fact, right? This is John Baloo Newborough, born in 1828, died in 1891, right? Source, the hidden prophet from the life of John Baloo Newborough, right? Source, the New York, he was a New York dentist who was a clairvoyant and clairaudient from childhood who threw automatic writing on a typewriter produced a waspy in 1881, a channel volume published as a new Bible. He was born on June 5th, 1828 near Springfield, Ohio. Now see, this is a real living, breathing man, y'all, historically proven. Now I want y'all to pay very close attention to my opponent's face as we ask him to kindly prove the historical existence of Moses, the supposed author of the Bible. Huh? Oh, see what had happened was the way my God is set up. See, the debate is really over. If you can't even authenticate your author, what are we even doing here? But we're going to keep going on, right? Today in 2023, the modern genetic and anthropologic scientists are in a great debate for the cause of the great genetic and physiological variations found between hominids and hominins, called the hominid versus hominin debate. Let's first learn what a hominid and hominids are. A hominid. Is a move the people to the side so, so we can see his uh, information. Please right please. here. Go ahead, family. Right there. No, I was telling her to move up the people to the side so we can see his information. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Go ahead, hey, uh, Hominid is a primate of the family Hominidae that includes humans and other fossil ancestors and also in recent years, at least some of the great apes. And here we got a representation of them here. A hominid is a primate of the taxonomic tribe hominy, which comprises those species regarded as human directly ancestral to humans or very closely related to humans right like cro magnon neanderthal denisovan and homo erectus now while modern science is still trying to figure out how the genes were standardized and this is from nature.com right selection against archaic hominin genetic variation in reg in regulatory regions right we see a waspy is changing the scientific paradigm to prove the historicity and smash the historical timeline of human creation. A waspy reveals that in the time of creation for primitive man on earth, 78,000 to 72,000 BC, man was created in great variety. Then through genetic admixture, the hominin or the Adamic species was bred from the earlier hominid or proto-Adamic races. Also that by where man was created geographically, so is the color of that person's skin. Closer to the equator, darker the skin. Closer to the poles, lighter the skin. Showing man is the same species, irregardless of skin color, as shown here in this timetable of prophecy from Owaspi. Now, we see, let me blow this up a little bit so y'all can see it, all right? We see up here the first and second creation. This is 144,000 years. This is what time is looks like, right? As we see down here, the first creation, second creation, we see man, proto-asu, or the hominids of many varieties, right? 3,000 years later, we see asu standardized, or the animal, or the uh, atomites standardized, right? Hold on, let's go back down, right? Look at the book of Jehovah saying, four, five, and seven. According to their respective places, I created the living, not in pairs only, uh-oh, killing the whole Adam and Eve idea as single people, 
but in hundreds of pairs and in thousands and millions of pairs, according to their respective places in the light up on Simu. So I quickened them in their color, adapted to their dwelling places. Each and every living thing I created new upon the earth of a kind, each to itself, and not one living thing did I create out of another. This verse alone cuts every evolutionist, racist, biased, prejudiced, and hateful comment you're going to hear from my low vibratory opponent tonight. Moreover, not only is this a historical fact proven by empirical data, but most importantly, it's objective. It, but it's in, it, it's in, hit, excuse me, but it's in historical impact is even greater when one realizes that a waspy reveals this information in 1881 and the first archaic human, Lucy, wasn't found till 1944. Headshot, historical fact. Let's show some true history found in the waspy that the biblical God isn't even aware of. Let's get to the history behind the pyramids, right? Yep, that's right, those pyramids. Don't get much more historical than these megalithic structures. I find it very suspicious how much of the biblical myth is set directly in the midst of Egypt, and yet neither the God nor anyone in the entire Bible sees them or even mentions the most outstanding structures on the entire African continent. Hmm. Now, remember. Uh, their God says in Hosea 13 and 4, yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Eve. Now, it seems the biblical idol is lying again. Why is he trying to convince us that he created the miracles in Egypt? See, it is totally different when you do your homework on the fact that the creator wouldn't have to remind anybody who he is or where he's been when he is everywhere and has done everything so let's catch their deity in a lie remember their god said remember their god said yet i am the lord thy god from the land of egypt but just like a murder investigation is always the little things that catch a liar in his lies if you're god if you're god if you're the god from egypt there's no possible way that you as, as god have ties to the pyramid don't have ties to the pyramid being that the pyramids were built to the gods. So unless you were there, right? Unless, right? Unless you weren't there and the pyramids were built before you even stepped on the scene. See, the Bible's weak attempt to usurp commission history and pawn it off as historical in hopes of trying to legitimize itself is objective and glaring. See, it's the small things that separate the real from the fake. It is the actual and factual historicity that separates true history from the myth and legend. See, if your God was actually there, if he was actually from Egypt, he would know this, right? Source, history.com. How did the Egyptians build the pyramids? An ancient ramp, find, deepens the mystery. The discoverer of a 4,500 year old ramp offers clues about the Egyptians' technological knowledge, right? This is from 2018, right? Now, uh-oh, now remember, it's the little things, y'all. Owaspi reveals in 1881 that there was a ramp around the pyramids of Giza. Modern science didn't even know it existed till 2018. So that also means his God didn't know either, or else he would have made sure to tell us, like he made sure to tell us he was the guy from Egypt. Got him. Now look, source, research, uh, history.com, researchers in, e in Egypt discovered a 4,500-year-old ramp system used to haul alabaster. Archaeologists from the French Institute for Orient Oriental Archaeology in Cairo and the University of Liverpool discovered the ramp's system remains in an, alab in an ancient alabaster quarry in Hotnub in a site in eastern desert. The ramp itself dates at least as far back to the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, who built the Great Pyramid of Giza. Now, let's prove the historicity of a waspy and show that it is light years ahead of the biblical God and his indoctrinated followers. Book of the Wars Against Jehovah. Remember, your, your God can't even find this book. Your God can't find this book in the Bible. Why? Because it's in a waspy. 
Now, after the first part of the temple was laid, the builders of the inclined plane, uh-oh, a ramp is an inclined plane, began to build it also, but it was built of logs. And when it was raised a little, another layer of the temple was built. And then again, a higher. And thus, the inclined plane, which was made of wood, was built up as the temple increased in height. The width of the inclined plane was the same as the width of the temple, but the whole length of the inclined plane was 440 lengths of a man. Tofma spent five minutes remaining. Tofma, who we know is who we know is Kufu, spent 24 years building the temple, and then it was completed, but it required another half a year, a half a year to take away the inclined plane used in building it. And after that, it stood free the greatest building that had ever been built on the earth or ever would be. Such then was Thothma's temple of Osiris, the great pyramid. See, only someone who was actually there, someone historical, could have this level of insight and intricate detail. OSP history is unparalleled. With the historical facts now revealed, if this was a court case, the biblical God would be convicted of perjury right now. And in the words of the great American poets, Mob D, ain't no such things as halfway crooks in Judah Nazareth. Your God is as crooked as they come. Fire upon a weak heart. But since this is a debate where one is supposed to assert their mental dominance and prove who has the higher intellectual acumen, let's show the historical accuracy and dominance of a waspy over the biblical fairy tale. See, I'm not here to teach you what you know. I'm here to teach you what you don't know, right? Let's stay with the building of the pyramids. Now, the stones of the temple were hewn in the region of the quarries, and when properly dressed, they were placed on side by capstans, and then by capstans let down the mountainsides to the water upon which they were to float to the place required for them. The floats carrying these stones were drawn up the inclined plane, the ramp, by means of capstans and by men and women directly pulling. Now, let's not even act like fake like any of you ninjas know what a cap stand is, let alone Judah Nass and his unhistoric mythological lying idol. See, a cap stand is a vertical axle rotating machine developed for use on sailing ships to multiply the pulling force of seamen, pause, when hauling ropes, cables, and housers, right? This is a capstan. Now, notice Owaspi makes it clear that the capstan was a nautical instrument. Look at this. The Open Court, Volume 26, December 1912, an ancient Egyptian mechanical problem. Look, by F.M. Barber, and I quote, Capstans must, therefore, have been employed by the Sakai or geared wheels and the water buckets worked by the ca cattle embodies the principle of the capstan. And Wilson and most other Egyptologists suppose it to have been introduced into Egypt at the time of the Persian invasion, BC 525, 527. But its principle must have been used at least as early as the time of Papyrus and Two minutes remaining. 1300. Now, wasn't till 1912, 31 years after a wasp revealed that the Egyptian used the capstan in the building of the pyramids that science finally caught on. Owaspi is not only historically actual, but it's prophetically accurate. And here's a bonus fact, right? If you notice the capstan seems to disappear and reappear multiple times over history, well, Owaspi reveals the reason for that disappearance and reappearance is the biblical God himself purposely stagnating the growth of man. Look, God continues the chastisement of the four false gods. Look, Look at this God right here, one of the four false, Christ. When my angels taught man how to make a capstan, uh-oh, a screw, a telescope, a compass, behold, your emissaries inspired my chosen to be tortured and put to death because in truth, my inspiration did not agree with your so-called- One minute Lord. remaining. Right? Yes, you pawned off your compilations from other false gods as being Jehovah's and you played honest Innocent. You played on the honest innocence of man's understanding, contrary to the will. But how do you prove the killing historically, Cosmon? It's proven historically by the torture, death, martyrdom of many of the world's greatest scientists. How about Copernicus? How about Lavoisier, Steno, Gassendi, 
Brutus, Servetus, Archimedes, Magalpi, Mosley, Secchi, Eccles, just to name a few, right? Historically proven to be killed or tortured by inspiration of the biblical God and his murderous minions. Bag drop, head shot. Damn. Time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I told y'all this was going to be a fire debate. Both of these guys is bringing the heat. You hear me? These, these ain't no fly-by-night debaters. These guys are seasoned. You know what I'm saying? They got their PowerPoint going. I hope y'all are taking notes. We're about to get into this second round, man. Uh, Judah Nazareth, uh, just let me know. Share your screen, brother. Then we're going to start your time. And if y'all, hey, people in the audience, hey, I mean, who, who do y'all think won that first round? Put a one for Cosmon and a two for Judah. Judah, let me know when you're ready to go. Can't hear you. Yeah, I think he getting the screen together. Get the screen together. Oh, I'm your bike. He's saying something, but I, we can't hear him. I'm your bike. Creator, the creator game came. All right. Yeah, you, you, you ready, Judah? All right. All right. Let me start the time at yes. 37. Okay, go ahead, family. All right. Uh, first off, uh, John Newbro was not an individual from antiquity. He's uh, from 1800s. So to use that, that was a terrible example. Number two, um, the great ape has nothing to do with the topic of the debate. I don't know what he's talking about there. Uh, judges, I don't know what he's talking about. He don't know what he's talking about. Um, yeah, um, the, the topic is historicity. Uh, uh, Calvin, Kim, I think it's whatever your name is. H historicity. Individuals, places, and events that can be verified by history of antiquity, not not 1800s. Uh, this is a clear 1-0. Pyramids, great apes, capstans, Herodotus already spoke about the ramps in, um, in his writing. So uh, Oaspi just jacked Herodotus' writings. He didn't even, even give him credit. So Oaspi just plagiarized Herodotus, who spoke about the uh, ramps uh, in uh, ancient Egypt, how they built the pyramids. Uh, and those scientists you just named, they're not Oaspi either. So uh, judges, take note that his whole first round was not on topic. It was totally off topic. It had nothing to do with historicity whatsoever. It was all over the place. Uh, let me continue. Go right back to uh, whooping on homeboy's head. Pause. For those of you who may not fully understand what this debate is about, this is actually not a debate. This is me whooping a uh, 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 little boy's arse. It's about the Bible versus Owaspi. Which one has historicity? You will notice, according to the topic of the debate, it was an immediate bloodbath. Right? How did I know this? I didn't just write this. I already knew there was going to be a whole bunch of freestyling, a whole bunch of making up stuff and a whole bunch of Oswald Bates prison babble. I already knew it. Why? Because there's no historicity in Owaspi. I had it. R great comic, by the way. Historicity. We can identify individuals in the Bible to certain notable personages of antiquity, thereby clarifying both the Holy Scriptures and secular sources. Secular means uh, non-religious, non-spiritual. Sorry, hold on. As you see, my uh, op opponent still has not done and that was his first round. But let's continue on with the, with the ass kicking. King Sargon II, Isaiah chapter 20, verse 1. In the year when King Sar Sargon of Assyria sent his commander in chief to capture the Philistine city of Ashdod, this king is Sargon II, king of Assyria, who was born from in between 770 BCE to 760 BCE, I'm sorry, until his death in 705 BCE. Sargon II, king of Assyria, the inscription, you see me here with my example, Visual example and, and uh, 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 written examples, uh, 26. For the judges, you try to say this is close, but this isn't close at all. He, he didn't even, uh, 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 right? I skipped ahead before. There was a king, Egyptian called Egyptian king called King So. King So was found in uh, 2 Kings 17, verse 4, an Egyptian king. His Egyptian name was Osorkon IV. Well, that's what the Greeks called him, from the 22nd dynasty. This is example 27 that I'm giving to show. 27 examples of me showing and proving historicity in my second round already, and Homeboy hasn't shown one example. Talking about uh, great apes and, uh, and, and dead scientists. Okay. 
King So is the Egyptian king Osorkon IV, who was a contemporary of the last northern king Hoshea from 1730 or 1732 to 21 to 23 BCE. Osorkon IV succeeded Shoshenk V of the 22nd dynasty, descended from Shoshenk I, aka Shishak, as previously demonstrated and qualified in my uh, 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 first round or preceding round when we spoke about Shishak. Here's another king, Taharka, king of Kush, Ethiopia, and Egypt. So this Taharka, from 690 to 664 BCE, was an Ethiopian king of Egypt and Ethiopia. Here's 2 Kings uh, chapter 19, verse 9. And when he heard, I'm sorry, and what he heard say of Taharka, king of Ethiopia, behold, he has come out to fight against you. He sent messengers again to Hezekiah. This is example 28. We still cooking? Uh, of course. <laughs> Okay, get homeboy up out of here. Oh, you know, brother, uh, planet of the apes. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Stick to the, the, the topic. Second Kings 20. Here's another king, another individual in the biblical narrative that can be verified through historicity. Second Kings chapter 20, verse 12. At that time, Merodach Baladon, the son of Baladon, king of Babylon, sent envoys with letters and a present to King Hezekiah, for he had heard that King Hezekiah had been sick. You can clearly see here on the inscriptions in the, in the walls. In Babylon, you see Kuru of Merodach Baladon inscribed on the walls. So again, this king here, Merodach Baladon, just like Osorkon IV, just like Shishak, just like Misha, just like the rest of them, can be verified outside the biblical narrative, proving their validity through what's called historicity. You can find them in secular sources outside of the Bible, as my opponent hasn't even uh, attempted to do. He tried to use John New who was uh, born in the 1800s. Bro, cut it out. 10 minutes remaining. SR Hawk. SR Hawk. See? I just said 10 minutes remaining. Yeah, 10 minutes. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, cool. SR Haddon, 2 Kings 19, verse 37. One day, while he, King Sennacherib of uh, Assyria, was worshiping in the temple of his god Nisroch, his sons, Adramelech and Sherezer, put him to the sword and escaped to the land of Ararat, which is in Turkey. And his son, Esar Haddon, reigned in his place. So Sennacherib, you can see, who was a, 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 a king of Assyria who figures in the um, Book of Kings. You see here, he's worshiping in the temple of his god, and his sons put him to death, and then uh, uh, they escaped to Turkey, Ararat, and his son, Esar Haddon, reigned in his place. Let's see if Esar Haddon is mentioned in the book. He's mentioned in 2 Kings 19, verse 37. Can we, ver can we uh, uh, verify this guy outside the biblical narrative? Esar Haddon appears by his monuments to have been one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, of all of the Assyrian monarchs. He carried his arms over all over Asia between the Persian Gulf, the Armenian Mountains, and the Mediterranean. Right? So his, his influence extended over Cilicia and Cyprus. Towards the south, he claimed authority over Egypt and Ethiopia. This Esar Haddon guy, who's mentioned in the Bible, is also validated outside the biblical narrative. Historicity. Esar Haddon. He is the only Assyrian monarch whom we find to have actually reigned at Babylon, where he built himself a palace, bricks from which have been recently, I'm sorry, recently discovered bearing his name. His Babylonian reign lasted 13 years from BC 680 to BC 667. And it is undoubtedly within this space of that time that Manasseh, king of Judah, having been seized by his captains at Jerusalem on charge of rebellion, was brought before the Assyrian monarch at Babylon. This is the second chapter, second chapter I'm sorry, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 11, showing again, Asa had another um, uh, uh, Assyrian antiquity can be, again, verified and validated and qualified outside the biblical narrative to secular outside sources. Of course, my opponent isn't going to stop that. He's going to start talking about Cabbage Patch Kids and all other types of crazy shit, right? Not according to the Bible. Or, I'm sorry, according to the book of uh, 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 whatever you call that. Pharaoh Nickel II. Reigned from 610 BCE to 5, 595 BCE, and a member of the 26th dynasty of Egypt. When Josiah King Judah and an ally of the Neo Babylonians was slain in the Battle of Megiddo, Necho II replaced Josiah's chosen successor with his own nominee and imposed tribute on Judah. In 606, the Egyptians routed the Neo Babylonians, but at the Great Battle of Carchemish, a Syrian city in the middle of the Euphrates River, in 605, the Neo Babylonian crown prince Nebuchadnezzar soundly defeated Neko's troops and forfeited their withdrawal from Syria to Palestine. Okay, as you can clearly see here, here's Pharaoh Neko II, 
who's spoken about in the scriptures. You can see here he's also uh, validated and qualified outside the, the biblical uh, narrative from the Egyptians' own carvings, writings, inscriptions, right? I said, I know me whipping this guy's skin off his bones with these prime examples and corroborations between outside sources in the Holy Bible. According to the topic of the debate, whose book has historicity to authenticate its validity? Not talking about gray apes, not about strawberry shortcake, not talking about crack smoke. Is Cosmon Cal's book going to give show? Is Cosmon Cal's book going to show equal or more historicity to authenticate its veracity, or is Aspi just another puff of religious nut bag crack smoke with a fake book and its contents cannot be substantiated with historicity? Right? Is it really, do a bunch of freestyling all day, or is this guy going to come with something? Five minutes remaining. Uh, five uh, minutes remaining. Five minutes. All right. Substantiated with historicity. I'm sure this guy's freestyling his rear end off, putting everybody to sleep. I'm sure this guy's calling calling your life to be a human sleeping pill. You can't sleep? Just let Cosmo and Cal talk and you'll doze right off like a baby. Right? Just put the volume on down to three, you, you, you'll, you'll go to sleep. Now, if I have time in this historicity debate, I'm going to do one of the greatest books. I'm sorry. I'm going to go through one of the greatest books of prophecy and fulfillment, the book of Daniel chapter 11. Right? If I have time. I'm going to cut my uh, round short. I'm going to try to stop sharing this. It won't let me stop sharing. Go oh, home. I'm going to do home. All right. Do you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. My check. All right. Since I have like a few minutes left, let me just say this real quick. Again, my opponent is not on topic. He's talking about the great apes, uh, dead scientists, uh, cap stands, and trying to attack the Most High. But he's not coming out of Owaspi showing any individuals or, or characters of Owaspi that can be substantiated through secular history or historicity. Places, events, dates, times. Or... No. You just get, hey, the Cabbage Patch Kids were a great doll in the 1980s. What does that have to do with the debate? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to cut my time short. Cosmon Cal, you and the whole whack Cosmon uh, whack squad, since this is your leader, is this your king? Oh, Stick to the top right. of the We already up 1-0. I'm sorry. All right. Hold up. Right. Hold your horses, everybody, Cosmon. Don't say nothing yet. Apostle, you have to you have to chill out on the beer. Look, 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 Judah flexing the guns. All right, now, man. Hey, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. These these guys, look, uh, look. It's only four, 17 likes. This was kind of confusing to me, but we got 140. Yeah, come up the video, oh, y'all. Oh, oh, up the video. Yeah, thanks, Cosmo. Come on, y'all. Th that's for free. That's free. We ain't asking for nothing. Can y'all at least just thumb up the video so we can get into algorithms? Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. That's Why are you up there flexing? You want you show us that pussy back you got? You think what I'm talking about? Pussy back, little boy. You think what I'm talking about? All right. Your sheets is shitty. <laughs> now, now let's get no. to some. All right, let me know when you're ready, Cows, my All right. Listen, I, I hate y'all even had to sit through that dry ass. He didn't show his, his Babylonian slave master. He showed Jehu kissing the boots of the Assyrians. Let me, <laughs> let me. Let me go and show you some real historicity. He ain't brought out nothing Hebrew yet. Uh oh. Look, let's go back down memory lane. See. Okay, you ready, Kyle? You ready? Now, you mind ready? you. Huh? You ready to go? I'm right. I'm yeah, start yeah, your yeah. time at one fourteen, an hour fourteen minutes. Go ahead. Right now, remember, nothing this dude in his Bible says predates thirty seven sixty one BC. That is the Hebrew chronology for creation. <laughs> So Owaspi claims, right, that the very first and oldest astrological temples were created between 10353 BC and 7053 BC, a 3300 year span of time, called in Owaspi the Ark of Day, inspired by an Orion god. Listen, this is 10,000 uh, BC, inspired by an Orion god named Osiris, roughly 7,000 years before the false god of Osiris of Egypt even existed. When we check the historical record, what do we find during that time, right? At around 12,000 years old, or circa 10,000 of BC or so, 
We find Gobekli Tepe in Southeast Turkey has been built as the world's oldest temple, right? And during from UNESCO, the German mountains of Southeastern Anatolia, this, prop, this property presents monumental round oval and rectangular megalith, meth, megalithic structures erected by hunter gatherers in pre-pottery Neolithic age between, look at this date, 9,600 to 8,200 BC. That's in between 10,000 and 7,000 BC. Now take note. Now, if a waspy is somehow false and unhistoric, then there is no way possible that the world's oldest temple in the world is built exactly when a waspy says it would be, nor should it have anything to do with a god named Osiris, correct? Right? Let's bring it out. The source ancient origins, right? Look what it says. This is ancient origins. Go Bekle Tepe, archaeoastronomy, and the second hill of Osiris. The oldest temple in the world is dedicated to an Osiris that predates the one from Egypt proven historically by science. So you want, Judah Nairs want logical thinking people to believe that the oldest astrological observatory in the world built circa 96,000, 9,600 BC, exactly the time Owaspi says it was built, dedicated to an Osiris that history proves predates Egypt as a whole is somehow all just a big coincidence. I think the real question should be is how is Owaspi revealing this in 1881 when modern science didn't even know, didn't even find Gobekli Tepe till 1994. In a word, historicity. Look, bonus historical fact. Gobekli Tepe is called the second hill of Osiris. Wanna know why? Because Gobekli Tepe has an older sister. Look at this. Look at this. Ancient origins, breakthrough discovery, Keran Tepe is older. Dingo Beckley Tepe by roughly 500 years. See, Owaspi history is unmatched, right? Historical fact Owaspi reveals that all things were created by the vortex and hence have and move in a spiral pattern. Jehovah said in the book of Jehovah, the whirlwind I, I made as a sign to man of the way of my created worlds. This is how. He creates. He said, I created the whirlwind as a sign. Now, in 1881, a wasp reveals that from galaxies to the conception of man himself, all is created in exactly the same way. Now, look at this. The effects of vortex on mortal conception. Everything from galaxies to the conception of man. Sperm don't slither. Right, this is from bigthink.com. Sperm don't slither, they swim in a, scorp a corkscrew motion. New research reveals that because of an optical illusion, we've been viewing sperm incorrectly for 350 years. Right, it says, Big thing the sperm body spins at the same time that the tail rotates around the swimming direction sperm drills into the fluid like a spinning top by rotating around itself whilst tilted axis rotates around the center this is known in physics as precession much like the precession of the equinox on our planet only a waspy has this type of historical revelations a waspy makes this claim in 1881 science proved it in 2020, they just found this out, that sperm moves in a vortexian pattern. O Owaspi revealed it in 1881. Now look, in 1881, at a time when atoms were only being theorized about, right? Because look, we got the discovery of the electron in 1897, 16 years after Owaspi. E. Rutherford found the proton in 1909, and and Chadwick found the neutron in 1932. But in Owaspi, right, in the same way that the solid earth and the stars and moon all float in the unseen firmament, 
so do atomic parts to all things float in the ether. As the earth is to the air and the ether above, so is an atom of corporate to the etheric solution, right? Book an or an oath, or an oath and forth that the creator, Jehovah, is the soul of all and that you are like independent atoms of his person. Now, are you kidding me? Is God really doing quantum physics in 1881 and you believe your Bible can match this? Historicity unmatched. Now, how about ice ages, specifically the younger Dryas? Remember, your, your Bible and your God didn't exist then. Specifically, the younger Dryas. That's right. Owaspi not only gives the date for the last glacial maximum, but also its cause. Look, the younger Dryas, which occurred, look, 12,900 to 11,700 years before present, was the return to glacial conditions, right? which lasted from 27, right, or, or the last glacial maximum, right? The Younger Dryas was the last stage in the Pleistocene epoch that spanned from 2.5 million to 11,700 years before present. And it preceded the current warm Holocene epoch that we are in now. The change was relatively sudden, took place over decades instead of millennia, and resulted in a decline in temperatures in Greenland from about 7.2 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit and advanced the glaciers of drier conditions over much of the temperate zones. Now, here we go in the Holocene Epoch, 10,900 BC, 12,900 years, uh, science reveals. But look, look what a wasp reveals. Book of Thor, right? And this ain't no Thor from uh, uh, Greece, nigga. This 10,900 BC, now look, I have prepared places of darkness in the ethereal firmament and places of light, and my corporeal worlds must travel through them, for so I created them. And these places of darkness and these places of light are like changes of seasons for my harvest. Now the earth passes into great deep darkness, for I fructify the races of men in new corporeal growth for things that shall come afterward. Thus the earth went into darkness, during the last, look, 600 years of the cycle of Thor. Now, pay a close attention. Science says the younger Adrius began 12,900 years ago or 10,900 BC. So, furthermore, Owaspi gives a historical date for when the darkness began, the last 600 years of the cycle of Thor, right? Since biblical God does not have a logical or believable timeline claiming that the world was created in 3761 BC, which is truly a historical fallacy. Now, let's let a waspy show your God how to tell time. This is the timetables of prophecy, right? We are looking right here in the Ark of Thor, right? It ends in 10.3. 53 BC, 900 years before that is 10,953 BC. So by the timetables of prophecy, we see the last 600 years of the Ark of Thor. And hence, and let me just go back and show you, this is Thor we're talking about 13,000, 15,000 years ago, right? 15,400 years ago. Not nothing in the, 800, in the 800 ADs. Now, by the time of prophecy, we see, right? That the of Thor, that the darkness on earth began the year 10,953 BC, while science gives the date for 10,900 BC for the younger Adrians. Coincidence? Nah, just historically proven dominance shown by Owaspi. FYI, the younger Adrians code event was discovered in Denmark by Hearts and Mithers in 1904, and the term coined by Hearts in 1912, but Owaspi beat science by 23 years. Let that sink in a second. Five minutes, now, Lenny. Let's take a nice little trip down to Europe, right? You bloody wanker. Now, Owaspi reveals that circa 4500 BC, nevertheless, Jehovah said to Europa, right? Now, this is the goddess, which is Europe is named after, right? She, he says, you shall found the kingdom here on, in, on, 
on heaven and earth. Europa said, what is the best way of Jehovah? Jehovah answered her and said, as for Jews, as you know, but as for the Kaporians, behold, they have neither copper nor iron, but use stone, right? Therefore, send 500 of your shards who are well-skilled in the art of inspiring mortals to Africa, Erebina, and you shall cause 50 men to migrate into your lands, and the 50 men shall be skilled in mining and working copper, right? And guess what? Right, and in, and your shard shall inspire them to go into the mountains and find ore, and then to work it, making tools and implements for hunting and fishing. Right, and guess what? Oh, science agrees with the paleogenetic and historical timeline presented by Owaspi. Look, source National Geographic's. Right, the first Europeans weren't who you think. Right. Showing that the bloodlines from Africa, the Middle East, and today's Russia, right? Look at this, right? Map of the early to middle Neolithic cultures in Europe from 6,500 to 7,000 years ago, or from 45, from 5,000 to 4,500 BC. Notice there's no, there's only pottery ware. There's no, there's no uh, copper nowhere around here, right? But look, but circa 4500 BC, a wasp reveals a historical tidbit that allowed us to unla unravel the great mystery of the builders of the first European civilizations. And that is that the first builders of European civilization were African. But more importantly, that the people were workers of copper and ore, leaving a literal copper bread trail directly across the continent of Africa. Look, the expansion of the Copper Age around Europe in the Near East, 5800 to 1800 BCE, right? Science proves the historicity of a wasp again. Science calls this migration, right? 4500 BC. Right, look what happens. It starts coming out of Africa. Right, we just seen what no people, but this is the copper. Right, science calls this immigrate this migration from Africa into Europe the Copper Age diffusion. Now, how perfect a wasp is historically unmatched. How much time I got? You got one minute and 20, 20 seconds. All right, so with that, I'm gonna just go ahead. And leave off there, right? But notice this man has not put anything on a historical timeline. He didn't talk about everybody else but his God. He still ain't showed us Moses. Where is your author? When is your Bible even born, uh, uh, created? Do you know by who? Can you prove that historically? No, you can't. So stop all that stuff. And y'all watch. Every time he get to stuttering, he lying. <laughs> Little pussy back boy. And with that, Cosmo out. All right, boy. I'm trying to tell you, man, these debaters is bringing it to the table. This is what we do at the Lions Den, man. This is what we do. I want everybody to hit that like, share, and subscribe. Put your ones in there for Kai's mind. Put your twos in there for Judah Nas. Hey, hit that like, share, subscribe. And I hope y'all are learning about the historicity of the Oashby and the Bible. Go ahead and unshare your screen, brother, man. We got outside the queue peeking in. I see you in the Hold building incognito. Second, yeah, buddy. It's going down in the den tonight, man. All right, now this is the last and final round, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're gonna get into the, the hot seat situation. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish we could have had oh 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 Solomon do the shucker buck on him, but we're gonna say that for next time, man. All right, so do, do the next. Yo, we, yo, let's do that. Let's do that. You want to shuck a buck him? Well, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm fucking with you, man. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> We're going to do that next time, though, yeah. Hey, hey, Judah, you know you ain't ready for me, man. You're not ready for a, a, a solo line Chuckle chuckle buck. buck. You're going to run to your channel, and you're going to cry. That's what you're going to do, bro. <laughs> All right. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Judah, you got to unmute your mic. Unmute your mic, family. 
Uh, so I'm planning on robbing me. He know yeah. he know what I'm about to mad. He like I'm about to I'm about to rob me. Yeah, go ahead, rob me in front of everybody. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, judges, so much, so much okay, hey, judges. Hope y'all keeping notes, man. Cause these brothers is bringing it, man. All right, dude. Let me know when you're ready. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna write your time down when you start. So, are you ready? All right. Are you gonna cool. see your screen? Right okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm asking a question. Uh, where is uh? Whoa, 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 Are we just? Are we doing questions or y'all just doing two rounds? No, no. It's my third. My third. Okay. So you ready to start? Yes. Yeah. We. We. Yeah. We doing three. Okay. You. You're okay. not sharing your screen, Judah. Not not right now. One, one second. I'm okay, well, one go ahead and start. You, I'm starting you at right. one one hour, 30 minutes, and 40 seconds. Go ahead. Uh, all right. Judges, you'll notice the second round, again, wasn't on topic. You saw no historicity. You know, we were talking about everything but except for the topic of the debate as I said he was going to do. Six. Electrons, protons, and neutrons. This is not science class. This is a debate about historicity of our text, which this guy will not go into. Again, he's not on topic for two rounds. Three, Jehovah, a.k.a. Jabulon of Cyrus is dead, right? And, and Jabulon, Jehovah, must be the god of the short bus because uh, if y'all think Cal's cooking, you got problems. Yes, he did mention Thor. Yes, Thor from, from Marvel comic books. Yes, he means that Thor. He said from 15,400 15, years ago. Sir, do you have a source for that? No, nope, no problem. All right. Ash, Trudus, and Corporeans. We got any sources for that? No? Okay, let's get into the thing. So, so he's making up stuff, right? Let's keep it going. Yeah, I told you I was going to do that. Let's, let's, let's finish on my third round. Get this guy up out of here. This is an easy uh, 3-0. You know, I told you the, the Cosmo kids can't bang into rights. Come on, man. He's just like... Let's stop your time, Judah, because you're breaking up, brother. Go, go out and come back in real quick. Well, say something now. Let's say something now. Let me hear you. Well, I'm sharing. Okay, you good. You good. You I'm good. sharing. Okay. I'm you sharing. Good. You good. Okay. Is my screen shared or? Yeah, you sharing. We see it. All right. You good? Yeah, 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 yeah. You good? All right. All right, y'all. We're, we're going to finish off this uh, third round strong. As you can clearly see, we're up to a old, two, uh, two zero already because this guy hasn't even um, even tried to apply the debate topic. He's just rambling on, freestyling, dribbling at the mouth. My grandma would call it diarrhea of the mouth. Right? We don't need no more verbal diarrhea. We need some sources. We're going to finish off strong in the Book of Daniel. This is Jan in the Book of Daniel talks. Remember, Daniel Daniel was a a, a Israelite prophet who was um. In during the time of the Babylonian captivity, which is in the, uh, the 580s BCE, he lived all the way through the Medio Persian, uh, not all through, but he lived up into the Medio Persian uh, overthrow of the Babylonians. So Daniel was writing from the time of the Persian domination, they had beaten, they had beaten the Babylonians. For those who don't understand the backdrop, the book of Daniel again is Daniel's an Israelite, he is a captive from Babylon. But he lives up until the time to where, where Persia beat Babylon. Now he now lives in the new kingdom under a new ruler. So Daniel 11, verse 1 and 2. And I, in the first year of Darius the Mede, stood up to strengthen him and protect him. Now then, I will tell you the truth. Three more kings will arise, rise in Persia, and then a fourth, who will be far richer than all the others. By his power, he will stir up everyone against the kingdom of Greece. So we're about to get into the kingdom of Greece. And this is historicity. Daniel 11, verse 3. Then a mighty one will arise. Now, bear in mind, King, uh, Alexander the Great, the Greek, he lived like 200 years after Daniel had already died. So Daniel is being shown these people. This is called prophetic historicity, right? He's being shown people that would occur to him after he's dead. But in our time, we're seeing it, you know, prophetic, but it's, it's still historical. It's still in the historicity, historicity uh, 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 context. Verse 7, Daniel, Daniel verse 7, verse 3. Then a mighty king will arise who will rule with great authority and do as he pleases. Alexander the Great, also known as Alexander III or Alexander of Macedonia, born 356 BCE in Pella, Macedonia, northwest of Thessalonica, Greece, died June 13, 323 BCE in Babylon. King of Macedonia from 336 to 323 BCE, who overthrew the Persian Empire, carried the Macedonian arms into India. 
he laid the foundations for the Hellenistic world of territorial kingdoms, which means the, the Greek Greco or, or stronghold or, or rule over um over the earth. Bear in mind, right? Just talk about he over the Persians where Daniel was speaking from. Remember, we're in the book of Daniel. Daniel was at the beginning of the Persian Empire. So Alexander came later, 20 years later, overthrew the Persian Empire. So Daniel wasn't alive when uh, when he was talking about these people. Let's keep it going. He was he had been dead. Keep in mind the prophet Daniel and Alexander's great time are about 200 years from Daniel's birth, Alexander's means birth, 20 years between Daniel's death and Alexander's uh, uh, birth. So Daniel being shown in a vision, I'm slowing down. Daniel being shown in a vision, Alexander, the subsequent, sorry, let me start again, I'm sorry. Daniel being shown in a vision, Alexander, and the subsequent individuals finally suited for example of historicity 200 years later is amazing. Where is the historicity of the OASB Bible, right? OASB. Watch this. Daniel 11, verse 4. But as soon as he's established, his kingdom will be broken up and parceled out to the four winds of heaven. It will not go to his descendants, nor will it have authority which he, which he ruled, because his kingdom will be uprooted and given to others. So Alexander the Great's kingdom would not go to his, to his physical heir, to like to a, a son. No, it'd be broken up and it would go to four to the four winds of heaven. His four generals. You can find these in uh, uh, second history. You don't need to go into the Bible to find who uh, uh, Alexander the Great uh, to. Alexander the Great died in his early 30s in 323 BCE, and his kingdom did not descend to his physical heirs, but got parceled out to his four army generals. Ptolemy in Egypt, Antagonist in the whole of Asia, Cassander in Europe, Macedonia and Thessaly, and Lysimachus in Thrace. Seleucus was left out of the treaty, but maintained Babylon, which he was a satrap. Right? So basically like five, you can see is four, where you get the, the Ptolemy and Seleucid empires, which stem from Alexander the Great in the four generals. You can find this in secular history. This is historicity, not rambling. Oswald Bakery Stone and making up shit. Video 11, verse 5. The king of the south will go strong, but one of his commanders will grow even stronger. No and news for me. Kingdom with great authority. All right, all right. How much? Five? Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine minutes. Okay. Nine. Okay. okay, okay. As you can see here in Daniel 11, verse 5, you can see that the king of the south is not other than Ptolemy Lagus, who was one of Alexander the Great's generals, who had Egypt for his share. It was a very powerful king. He ran over Egypt, Libya, Cyrene, Ethiopia, Arabia, Phoenicia, Syria, Cyprus, and several isles in the Asian Sea, and many cities in, in uh, Greece, and one of his princes. Right? Right? Shh, shh, I'm live, you guys. As you can see here in the verse, it says, uh, but one of his commanders will grow even stronger and will rule in his own kingdom. And this is, as you can see here from the, the third, it's Seleucus Nicator, also called King of the South of the North, having Syria for his part, which led north of Egypt, who had Macedonia, Greece, Thrace, Asia, Syria, Babylonia, Media, and all eastern countries as far as India, even from Taurus to the River Indus, and so likewise from Taurus to the Asian Sea. So Seleucus Nicator had a much more uh, uh, expansive empire than the King of the South, who is Ptolemy Lagos. Bear in mind, when Daniel shown this in Daniel 11, verse 5, in a vision, he don't know these people. They, were, they came like 200 years after he was dead. Let's keep it going. This is historicity. There's either plain historicity, which is wrong. That's wrong spell. should be P-L-A-I, you know, in, right? I spelled plain wrong. Historicity or prophetical historicity. The king of the south, Ptolemy Lagos, and the former king of the north, Seleucus Nicator, also spelled Seleucos Nicator, conqueror, born 358 BCE, Eurobus Macedonia, died in September 21, sorry, 281 in Lysimachia Thrace, right? Just showing these are our um, individuals that can be um, shown throughout history for their uh, uh, historicity, right? Daniel 11, verse 6. After some years, they will form an alliance, and the daughter of the king of the south will go to the king of the north to seal an agreement. So you're going to see here in Daniel, Daniel 11, verse 6, that there's going to be a, a form of an alliance between these uh, uh, generals to get some peace going between these uh, uh, Greek, Greco Syrian uh, kingdoms, right? So the daughter here is, 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 is called, her name was Ber Bernice, daughter of Ptolemy Philadelphus, king of Egypt, who carried her to Palaeseum, and then from thence, Syria to Lucia in Syria, where he met with Antiochus, the king of Syria, who gave her a marriage with a vast dowry of gold and silver. So the woman here, the daughter, is Ber Berenice, who died in 246 BCE, daughter of Ptolemy II, Philadelphus, and Arsenal I of Egypt. She was married to Seleucid ruler Antiochus II of uh, Theos. These kings, Antiochus, Ptolemies, these are the Seleucids and Ptolemies 
who came from Alexander the Great, the Greek, four generals. In turn, these four generals, two of them kind of faded away and two of them became powerful, forming what you call the Seleucid and, and Ptolemies. Uh, you can find this in uh, uh, the book of Maccabees, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, uh, you know, some of them, so on. But this is where you get this from. Berenice, Ptolemy, Antiochus, all of them are all uh, 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 individuals that can be found in secular history. You can go outside the Bible to substantiate their existence. I'm going to cut my round short because pretty much I don't, I don't need any more. This guy's going to be freestyling. We're already at 3 0. So I'm going to end with this. I can't leave this in the hands of the judges because this debate wasn't designed for entertainment, but a point to prove. The Bible or Holy Scriptures are true and display historic historicity. I've shown this example. I've shown this by example of this whole debate. Don't even attempt to call this close. Let's not play games. Son got his head cracked. Let's toss him in the dumpster and let's all go home. Because you ain't about to get no historicity. Uh, you still had, you still had a couple minutes left. All right. All right. Okay. I'm trying to stop sharing. Hold on. Yeah, stop sharing. Hold on, hold on. Did you... Wait. Yeah. It won't stop sharing. Okay. You still had uh, about right. five, four minutes left. My last. Uh... All right. I'm just two. So, as you guys can see, all three rounds, I showed a uh, 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 historical um, uh, substantiability that these individuals existed through secular history, through biblical history. You know, I showed uh, art relief. I showed inscriptions. I showed dates. I showed places of birth, times of death. We showed sources. And all we're getting here is uh, a bunch of uh, jaw jacking, diarrhea of the mouth, freestyling, and, uh, and the usual uh, uh, Oswald Bates in the limit color uh, uh, rhetoric. Um, yeah, uh, if you, whoever thinks that Cosby and Cal is cooking, uh, please stop running head first in the walls uh, full speed. It's not good for your frontal lobe. I'm not a do doctor. I'm just telling you that running face first in the walls is not good for your health, nor is chewing on crayons. You want to learn history and learn the scriptures? Come to Torah Nights. You want to chew on crayons? Join Creator Gang. And with that, all praise to the Most High Yahweh I'm going to yield my time. And let's listen to another third round of uh, freestyling. All praise to y'all woke up. All right. I'm telling you, man, it is heating up in the den. Shout out to Sister Nandy. Uh, shout out to uh, Samasha and the Creator Gang, Daryl Cobb's mind, Marquise, all the people that's out there. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Jeremiah, I hope you're in the audience. If not, it's, it's easy to make a quick email real quick and make a, a new channel so we can get you in here. All right. The last and final round for 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 the for the for the creator gang security. Tell my Cosmo and Kyle. Let us know when you're ready, Aki. I can write the time down, my brother. All right, go ahead and share the screen real quick, man. Okay. All right, we're gonna start here. Easy one work, man. I did already. Listen, this is about to be a thirty. You did what I'm talking about. Let me let me show you how this historicity thing actually works. See, he ha he hasn't showed you anything on any timeline whatsoever. No historical backings, right? And look, he just keeping it to people who whooped his God's ass. Let's be real. The only reason your God is even mentioned is because somebody whooped your God ass and they wrote it down. This is why you got a Misha Stella, not an Israelite Stella. Because your God weak. He couldn't even be a man in a mountain. But look. With some with with some iron wheels. Now look the his historical fact. Let's travel a little further down the historical timeline and back across the Mediterranean into the Great Saharan Desert. See, science admits that the final stage of desertification in the Sahara took place during what science calls the 4.2 killer year event. Right, those 4.2 killer year event was one of the most severe climactic events of the Holocene epoch, and it defines the beginning of the current Megalian age of the Holocene Epoch or 4200 BC to 4100 BC, right? Now, keep that in your mind. That doesn't sound like a major historical event till you first understand, right? That at this time, 4200 BC, right? The Sahara Desert was lush. See how the Sahara Desert went from lush to inhabited land, to, un to, 
to uninhabited land, right? And that's from Afri, Africa Burr. You can look that up. Now, let's let Owaspi prove his historicity once again. And remember, I'm not here to teach you what you already know. I'm here to teach you what your God doesn't know. Book of Forgopity. And in the 180th year preceding the dawn of Dan, that is to say 2,920 years after Forgopity and Zarathustra, Jehovah sent swift messengers with 6,000 Ethereum Lewises. These are geneticists. Notice a historical date is given, right? And the swift messenger brought these words with them. Peace and joy to you, O God, and to your sub-gods and lords and lord gods and goddesses. Now, 180 years of darkness will now come upon the kingdoms in heaven. And then the darkness will go away and the dawn will come. And dark and during the darkness, right? Right? Between 41. 33 and 3953 BC. Exactly. This is how you do history. Behold, the nations of the earth will go down in great darkness. So we're talking about a time right here, right? 22nd arc cycle after the creation of man. Remember, Forgopity, what happens during that time? Zarathustra comes. This is the Arc of Lou, a 3,100 year span of time from 753 BC to 3953 BC, right? 180 years, right? Before that, now look, Owaspi gives us two different ways to discern this historical truth. See, the time of Zarathustra is from 7053 BC to 3953 BC, or you can go 753 BC minus 2920, right? And you get 4133 BC. Or you can start at the end, 3953 BC, and add 180, and you still come with the same total, 4133 BC. So we find, hold on, we find dark nebulous material smack dab in the middle of a 4.2K kilowatt event, the exact time of the worst part of the Saharan desertification, and they would have us believe that this is just coincidence? I think not just more historicity, historical fact. Historical observations revealed that not only does history agree with the waspy concerning the author of Bible, but also the who, when, and where of its compiling. What about the historical fact that not one black person had anything to do with the compiling of the biblical text? And yes, history agrees. Look, Awaspi from Awaspi, the Council of Nicaea, Luamang, the false Christ who they still praise today, inspired Constantine, the mortal emperor, to call together a council of wise men from all the nations, Africa, Hellas, Persia, and Europe, in order to select from all the religious doctrines in the world that which was the wisest and best. And we know this happened at the Council of Nicaea so that it could be established by kings and emperors and governors by the sword and spear so there would never be again more than one religion. And he selected from them 144 speakers. Now listen, as, the, uh, as for the others, they were divided into groups of 12, besides a goodly number being appointed scribes and translators. But look, but many having the appearance, just the appearance of a Jew, were rejected altogether. This is Constantine, the compiler of the New and Old Testament during the, during the, but Cosma, prove all the blacks were kicked out of the compiling of the Bible at the Council of Nicaea historically. Let's see if anyone was kicked out first, right? Source, first ecumenical council of Nicaea, Arius, Theonis, an Egyptian, and Secundus, a Numidian, refused to adhere to the creed and thus were exiled to Illyria. In addition to being excommunicated, the works of Arius were ordered to be confiscated and consigned to the flames while his supporters were considered as enemies of Christianity, right? Now, remember, all you had to do was resemble a Jew and you were removed from the council. But what commonality does a Libyan-born Christian have with the average Jew of that day, brown skin. See, now the key is, is Arius brown skin? Does Arius resemble a Jew? You tell me. 
Look at Arius. Huh? Look at Arius. Arius looked like a Jew. He got brown skin. Now, by the way, Arius is a Libyan, born in Africa, historically proven the Bible is not by us or for us. The wasp is unmatched. How about the historicity in the stars? Owaspi says, Book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, the whirlwind I made as a sign to man of the way of my created worlds. As you see the power of the whirlwind gathering up dust of the earth and driving it together, know that likewise I bring the Jai, Aja, and Nebula in the firmament of heaven. Just so you can get a, you can see the vortexian pattern, right? So we got to learn what Jai is. Jai is the semi-light. Gaseous substance in Ethereum, less dense than Aja. What is Aja? Semi dark, a dense gaseous region in Ethereum, which sometimes descends to the Earth, less than Nebula. What is Nebula? A dense atmosphere of corporeal substance, right? The key to unlocking the historicity being that does science agree that planets were created? from condensed gaseous nebulous clouds? The answer is yes. Huh? From the American Museum of Natural History, formation of our solar system, right? Quote, the sun and the planets formed together 4.6 billion years ago and from a cloud of gas and dust called the solar nebula. Are you kidding me? How could he know this in 1881? A shock wave from a nearby supernova explosion probably initiated the collapse, the condensing of solar nebula, right? Now that's a headshot. Now, or how about the book of cosmogony and power uh, prophecy? By the power rotation, swift driving at the periphery, I condense the atmospheric worlds that float in the firmament. And these become my corporeal worlds. In the midst of the border seas, or atmospheres, I made them. And by the power of the border seas, I turned them on their axis. And I carried them in the orbits I allotted, I allotted to them. But look, here's the, ki here's the kicker. Wider than to the moons of a planet, I have created the vortices or the atmosphere. And they carry the moons also. Look. Here's the, here's the moon being carried in our Earth's atmosphere, right? Now, tell your God I said it hit different when you was actually there. It hit different when one is speaking from a point of objectiveness. Look. Five Earth's minutes remaining. Earth's atmosphere stretches out to be to the moon and beyond. They didn't figure this out to 2019. Look, quote, the moon flies through the Earth's atmosphere, says Igor Balakin of Russia's Space Research Institute, lead author of the paper presenting the results. He said, we were not aware of it until we dusted off observations made over two decades ago by the Soho spacecraft. Right? Let me go another look at it. Now, Owaspi revealed that the moon traveled in the Earth's atmosphere in 1881. Science didn't even figure this out till 2019. Let it sink in. It's historicity. Now, what about the historicity of snowflake? Right? Waspy says in 1881, no two snowflakes are alike. The book of cosmogony and prophecy. But it must be borne in mind that where one snowflake is molded in one minute, Another snowflake is molded in the same place in the next moment and so on with display no two snowflakes alike. Three stages may be described in this decor and result. First, the cloud. Second, the frozen cloud, which is snow. And third, the raindrop or hailstone. Now imagine for a second with me, family. Imagine. Imagine if we could tune into Judah's Nazareth mind right now. Imagine. Right? Now, try to ignore the gay porn playing in the background, right? He's probably thinking something like, but everybody knows this today, Cosmo. And that would be true. But remember, no one knew what a snowflake looked like in 1881. Check. Remember, 
I'm here to teach you what you don't know. This friends and family is Wilson Bentley, a.k.a. Snowflake Bentley, right? Wilson Bentley, born in 1865, right? On, on July 15, 1885, four years after Owaspi, he became the first person to photograph a single snow crystal. He would go on to photograph well over 5,000 snow crystals, never finding two the same. And his documentation of his work advanced the study of meteorology in his time. Now, these are the first pictures that Bentley took in 1885. Remember, no one knew what they looked like before these exact pics. Listen, look. This is the exact pics Bentley took. Right? Now, compare that to what Owaspi revealed four years earlier in 1881, as we have historically proven. FYI, Owaspi pics are hand drawn. Hand drawn. Look. How could he have known? Two minutes remaining. How could he have known? That's not a coincidence, folks. That's called historicity. The historicity of Owaspi overwhelmingly proves. Owaspi showed that no two snowflakes were alike, right? Were alike. Years before anyone could have known it. How is Owaspi showing this in 1881? It's because Owaspi's historicity is unmatched and second to none. Now, Owaspi reveals. When and why of the first written language on the earth after the flood. The paleoglyphic system, 1,500 years ago during the Ark of Thor. Ah, yeah, see, these dumb niggas thought we was talking about some type of mythical character. No, look, look, the Ark of Thor is a time, right? 1,300 B.C., right? 1,353 B.C. Here's your Norse god, Thor, way down here in 1,800 A.D., that's the first time. Here we are, 175 years into the 25th arc cycle right here. Now, we're going back to this time, 15,000 years ago. One minute remaining. Now, God commanded stone and wooden to be it, it images and engravings also and everything upon the earth so that man made them according to his own knowledge, right? As every living creature has a name, so was its image and its, its, its engraving have the same name. The image and the engraving shall have the same names as the real things themselves, right? And God sent his angels down to man to inspire him in the workmanship seconds. of images and engravings. And look, the first writing since the flood that were kept by the ions, right? And a picture, and this is how you read it. A picture of a man was a man. The picture of a tree was a tree. Now look, 15,000 years ago, the source Ancient North American gouge the elaborate rocks art into a heap of big boulders in North Reno, Nevada, more than 10,000 years ago, yeah. and perhaps 15,000 years ago. Yeah. Bag drop, headshot, time. And, and in the words of Jay Z, look and look, I let y'all know right time. here. Let me show you. Let me show you. We just exactly. gonna go. Look, 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 look. That's it, Cosmo. That's, that's your time right Ooh, there. Y'all see that? Oldest right. sign in the world right there. That's the name of the creator. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. All right. BC. Let's go. All right. All right. Put Get the screen. I'll share your screen, man. These brothers is battling. That's Both of these brothers is bringing out some information that, you know, I have never heard of. Well, I heard Got some him. beautiful stuff. <laughs> you know. Hey. hey, man. Hey, hey y'all hit that like, share, subscribe. Put your one in there for Kai's mind, two for... Tour night, do the Nas, do the Nas. Got the kids and then learning and educating them. So let's let's keep it clean. The kids is watching us. We are the role models for the kids. Oh, man, well, you, should, you know, late. You hey, the we doing this the for the kids. Like like like, like Q Butter said, we doing this for the kids, y'all. All right, man. Now we finna get into the meat and potatoes right now, man. These brothers is finna put each other on a hot seat. Why well, was we could shuckle buck? We gonna do that next time, uh, so mine. But uh, yeah, so. Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, uh, come on, moderators. Do not, we, we don't do that over here. Do not time out our guests. As a matter of fact, Karima, right. they time me out. <laughs> and I'm a moderator. Fact, uh, Karima, you're a moderator over here, ain't you? Yeah, and they time me out. <laughs> oh, come on now. We, we, come on, y'all. We Come on. We, we we got tough skin over at the den. We, and then uh, if tour nights, somebody for tour nights, give, give, them, give them a wrench. I want everybody to be represented so they can protect each other's brand. We we don't do that over here, man. This ain't shot at a TV where it's an echo chamber. Y'all know that. 
So whoever doing that, man, come on, man. Don't do that. Hey, hey, real no. quick, y'all. So y'all hit me with some vortex in the chat, man. Let's get this spirit moving in this thing real quick, man. We're gonna turn up the heat on Judah Nance. That's the heat, man. It's all nice, man. With a vortex in the chat. Let's get this thing he, he moving. Calling the, he calling for the vortexes, man. This is a good debate, man. I love it, man. I, uh okay. Now this is the the the, the uh part of the debate where they interact with each other now. All right. Now, Judah Nazareth, uh, you got 10 minutes to put this man on the hot seat. He, uh, you know, and uh, he got one minute. Is it one minute too long to answer a question? Or should I do 30 yeah, seconds? Yeah, exactly too long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 30 uh, seconds. Make it hot. Yeah, yeah make it hot. Yeah. 30 uh, seconds. So that way y'all can get a bunch of questions in. You know, and you don't have to use your whole 30 seconds to answer the question. You know, if you, if you answer it in five seconds, he can go on to the next. So he goes right, first so or I'm going first. You 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 want to go first? Well, you just went, so you want to do the you want to keep the same order or do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, since Judah been waiting. Uh I, I see you out there, Sister Nanny. Shout out, man. Y'all like all the people who got channels, put y'all channels in the chat so we all can subscribe to each other's channels. Because that's what we're doing over here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, we so got the team. mighty Hebrew in the building. I see you all the way from Africa. Man, man, man. Brother doing big things over there, man. For real. All right. So Judah Nazareth, uh uh this uh, I'm gonna start there two hours, two hours and, and uh two minutes on here. Once to say two hours, two minutes, that's in 30 seconds. You can go ahead and start asking your questions. All right. All right. All right. So you got and um all right, go ahead, start now. Go ahead. All right, uh just yeah, you know, uh in the OSB cult or whatever, whatever y'all called a creator cult. Do, do y'all have a chat called uh, Gay Porn Snowflakes? And was it? Forgot. Was, was it? Oh, Gay Porn. Is it Thor, Thor Snowflakes and Gay Porn that y'all taught over there in uh, Waspy? You trash, bro. No. All right. No, you're not. Okay. okay. Sir, do you have a, a source for uh, Thor's uh, uh, date of birth? Thor is in uh, Ethereum. I, I got it, sir. I got it, yes or no. Sir, do you have a for Thor's date of birth? Do I have a, a for his date of birth? He got 30 seconds to answer, Judah. No. No. Well, first of all, um, Thor was already dead when he became an Ethereum angel and became true god of the earth. At, during the 20th arc cycle after the creation of man or 60,000 years after the creation of man. You did what I'm talking about. You think because you're slow and you read comic books, you did what I'm talking about because you're a little boy that you think that we're talking about the Greek Thor. Oh, sir, oh, hey, sir, hold on. Sir, sir, no, I'm oh. not done. I got 30 no, seconds. Sir. Okay. No, no, right. no, 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 he got about 15 oh. seconds to answer. There we go. No, no, Y'all doing good. Let's, 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 let's keep it civilized. He got 30 seconds to answer. No. He had like 15 seconds left. Let him, let him explain. Yeah, I, I'm watching. Yeah, just because you dig what I'm talking about, you're a Marvel fan, you dig what I'm talking about, doesn't mean everybody is. We're talking about a time roughly 14,000 years before the so-called Thor, who is a mythological character from uh, Europe and the Scandinavians, right. ever right. even existed. So go, right. ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, Judah. All right, yeah, he's milk, he milking the clock, y'all. He's milking the doing clock. doing good, Judah. Come on, man. Both of y'all doing good. Come he, he's milking the clock. No, he is there any seconds. evidence, is there any evidence with historicity to validate your Thor's existence or being a ruler on Earth or him existing at all? A anything. Archaeological, now, just, is there any? Yes, or yes no, sir. No, can hey, hold on, pause the time because I got to go into my uh, pause the time. What the it's my you eat my time. Well, bro. well, well then, okay, well, then don't worry about it. I just go off the top of the head. See, I see you see paying attention and listening is also a skill, and you weren't doing that because at the, at the very end of the third round, I showed you the proof of Thor is the Paleolithic writing, you weren't listening. Yeah, okay. I'm above your pay grade. Hey, go ahead. Uh, hold on, time out, time out. Stop the time for look, look, dude. He get thirty up to thirty seconds to answer. I, I, I promise you, I'm watching. Both of y'all doing good. The, the, the judges watching. Let's let's let's, let's keep the, the, the respectful energy. All right, go, go ahead. Ask your question, Judah. So it was. Go ahead. Go ahead, Judah. Okay. Ask the question again. Are, 
Okay, he already said that there's no uh, evidence for uh, Thor. Um, the Ashars, are there any, is there any uh, linguistic evidence for the Ashars uh, existing outside of the Owaspi Bible? Is there any right, psychological history ahead. we can find for the Ashars? All right, go ahead. You got 30 seconds. Go ahead. Well, uh, firstly, you got to know what an Ashar is. An Ashar is a guardian angel, right? And just from common knowledge. That's what an Ashar is. You're talking about things you don't know nothing about. So, firstly, let me explain to the people. 15 seconds. An Ashar is a, is a guardian angel, right? And they write the record of your life. You dig what I'm talking about? So. 10 seconds. Okay, go ahead, Judah. All right, so this guy basically just said no about the Ashars. This is about this guy's own book. Sir, the Druges, can you find any historical and linguistic evidence for the Druzas existing outside of a wasp. Well, right. my, my I can prove, I can prove, yes, I can prove it. Sir, I can prove no, about question, demons. Sir. Sir, yes. Sir, do you, what's whoa, my, whoa, do you whoa, hear my whoa. question? Yeah, come on, please, Judah, ask the question and please give him 30 seconds to answer. He's going to let you know when he's done asking the question, Cosmon, okay? Come on, y'all doing good, man. All right, go ahead, ask the question again, Judah. Go ahead. Okay, all right, all right. Is there any historical or linguistic evidence for the Druges by that name existing in secular history aside from Oaspi? All right, go ahead, Cosmo. You got 30 seconds. Well, Druge is the source word for things like drudge and, and drug. You dig what I'm talking about? And it means dark and low. And here's a here's a histor historicity to prove a Druja. It's a demon. Well, the writer of your King James Bible praised Druges. He even wrote a book on demonology, proven that by your mm -hmm. author that they were real. Okay, go ahead, Judah. I think he done. Go ahead, Judah. All right, so y'all said, so there's no Thor, there's no Ashars, there's no Druges. Sir, the Ions, is there is there any linguistic or historical evidence of the Ions existing outside of Owaspi by this name? What were they known in the secular world? That's what. Again, I was. I would, to, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Did you understand the question? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got 30 seconds. Again, again, I would like to uh, direct you towards the oldest writings in the world. I read in there that the Ions were the only people after the flood to have this writing system till the time of Thor, 13,353 BC. So you did what I'm saying. Remember, you got to listen. Go ahead. Go ahead, Judah. Okay, so he clearly uh, answered uh, negative to all of these people in his own book as fake and cannot be substantiated in our history. Um, linguistically or history. Uh, Man, I guess that's it, man. He basically said his book is fake. Thank okay. you, sir. We already knew that anyway. Right, thank you. Go ahead, sir. Right. I'm up. Go ahead. Okay. Right. You had a couple minutes left, but that's okay. All right, go ahead, uh, Cosmon. It's your okay. turn. Judy, did you have any more questions? Are you good? We're okay. good. All right. All go right. ahead, Cosmon. You got, oh, let me see. All right, go ahead. Just ask your question. All right. Question. All right. First things first. We're going to address the elephant in the room, right? And this is going to determine if I'm even going to ask you the rest of these questions. Okay. Right? What's up with your God cursing you with a gay demon? Is that the question? Yep. Oh, uh, my God didn't curse me with a gay demon. All right, next question. All right. Well, you said out of your mouth, your God cursed you with a gay demon. Now, if you're willing... If your God is willing to curse you and make you gay, which your God claims is an abomination, why should any heterosexual man or woman follow your God? Uh, I'm not gay to be gay to have sex with men. There's no men in my life. You can't name one. My wife told you that, uh, sir, whoever you guys are messing with, leave them alone, come back to the tour. Well, you capping because we heard it out of your own mouth that you said your God put demons on you and made you think gay shit. And first of all, that ain't the first time. Remember, about 12, 13 years ago, your name was put into some shit, too. You dig what I'm talking about? And we know everywhere there's smoke, there's fire. Now, look, 
do you worship men? No, no, wait, wait, wait. First, first, let's talk about historicity. What year was your Bible written and by who? Okay, go ahead, Judah. Uh, there's no set date for a Bible written. <laughs> okay, go Clown, ahead. Tommy. Talk about historicity, and you don't even know who wrote your Bible. Shut up. What? What do you worship, man? And that's the question. Go ahead, Judah. No. No, but you worship the Lord, correct? Can you ask the question again? I can hear you. I said, but you worship the Lord, correct? What Lord are you talking about? All right. The Lord in your Bible. Yahweh? Call him whatever you want to. They call him the Lord in the Bible. No, Do you worship the Lord? Or about. no? Yes or no? All right. I don't know who you're talking about. All right. I, I think you worship men, right? Because in the Bible, right, it says your Lord, right? What you're trying to separate from now, right? Yahweh mean Lord. So even, even in the Hebrew, let me teach a Hebrew Hebrew tonight. Then how can you say you don't worship men when your God, your Lord, say he is a man of war? How do you rationalize that? Because it says I'm an entity of war. It doesn't translate as flesh. You're a liar because the word is ish. Ish in Hebrew is man. Okay, so we didn't caught you lying. What is an idol? It, 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 what is also an idol? Means it, Ish also means entity, so you, you got caught. <laughs> That's what you get in the language. Yeah, uh, dude. What's an idol? An, an, yeah, idol, is something an, idol? Besides, uh, an idol is something besides the most high that you, uh, that you revere or worship. Well, we don't want your opinion on it no more. Merriam Webster definition says an uh, idol is an object of a string of extreme devotion and a representation or symbol of an object of of worship broadly a false god I funny ask a question, right man. now now hold on a wasp reveals that anything having comprehensive form and figure that is praised at, is an idol and your god has comprehensive form and figure in the shape of a man and is praised so is your god an idol go ahead judah no okay is an image an idol or is it an image an object? Yes. Okay. But how can your God not be an idol, right? And he has form and figure in the image of a man. Got him. Look, hold on. Wait. How do you support? Uh, uh, do you support? Uh, you have to answer the question there, sir. No, 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 no. That was a statement. Yeah. That was a statement. Sir. You got cut. Sir. Listen, sir. do you support sir. the sir. death of any child? Sir. Okay, go, sir. go ahead, Judah. Thank you. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, it says the Most High has no form. In 2 Kings 8, it says the Most High uh, fills heaven in the highest heavens. So, does it say anything about a form? Uh, you what lying. Was your second, uh, Aaron? All right, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, because you lying because your God came down on the Mount of Sinai and showed his ass, a.k.a. his hind parts, to Moses. Okay, uh, John went up to heaven and seen the nigga sitting in the sky on the throne. So he looked like a man. Stop capping. Do you support the death of any child? I right, go ahead, Drew. If the Most High deems the child to die, then I support it. Mm. Did your okay. God say, thou shalt not kill? Thou shalt not murder, yes. Kill, synonyms. We ain't gonna play the, we ain't gonna play the semantic game. Now, what? then, but see, your God says, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not murder. Then he commands the death of infant children, correct? Is that a question, sir? Yeah, yes. Your God says thou shalt not kill. You said, right, or murder. I said, you, you said yes. I said, then he turns around and commands the death of infant children in Samuel 15, 3, right? The, the death of the infant Amalekites. Four correct? minutes remaining. Go ahead, Judah. Yes. Okay, how do you rationalize that in your mind? Parents Never mind. Don't before. worry about that. Next no, question. Next no, no. question. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You asked him a question, though, Cosmo. All right, I'm, I'm going to let him. How do you rationalize that? All right, go ahead. I done went to a smoke break and shit and came back with his nigga ass. Um, uh, <laughs> I forgot the question, man. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, if your go God ahead. came go to ahead, you, Cosmo. 
If your God came to you right now, tonight, in pomp and glory, shining, and he commanded the death of your child, would you sacrifice your child? If the Most High would do it, of course. Wow. And mind you, to never leave none of you Hebrew niggas around no children. Right? <laughs> you, li listen, for facts. Put your mic, whoever in the background laughing. Listen, <laughs> by you saying that, nigga, you just as bad as polite. All right, go ahead, Kyle. I'm going to ask a question. All right. Do you know the de definition of pederast? You got three minutes left. Go ahead. Go ahead, Judah. He said he asked you uh, definition. You, you, you seem to be into that type of stuff. Uh, you can fill us in. All right. Well, All right, well go ahead. Ask the question. Is a person, uh, uh, right, who likes to unalive children. Is your, I'm going to ask you a question. Is your God a pederast? No. All right. Go ahead, huh? Kyle. If not, what, why does he command the killing of infant Amalekites? Okay, go ahead. Must have been enemies. Ah, Must have been enemies. Or, or then why the bashing of babies' heads in the brick walls? Okay, go ahead, Judah. It's not talking about us. Oh, okay. why is your God, but it's talking about brown people, black folks. Why is your God devouring 42 children with she bears? I go, oh, oh, go ahead, Judah. <laughs> we all funny. Go ahead. Kids must have been wicked. All right, go ahead. All right. Go ahead Do you know about. how many children your God killed in the Bible? Two minutes remaining. He's probably going to kill a whole lot more today. Do you know how many people Satan killed? Well, right, by the ahead. way, by the way, your God killed 64,000 babies just okay, in the go, text. Do okay, you know how many people Satan. Satan killed? Go ahead, Judah. Nope. Ten. Do you, do you know how many people God killed in the Bible? All right, go ahead, Judah. Not nearly as much as he did outside the Bible. 2.8 right, million just in the text alone. You don't okay. know nothing about your Bible. Do you even care? All right, go ahead, Judah. He killed more than that outside the Bible. All right. Now, okay, let's test your spiritual IQ, remaining. right? Are these following verses beneficial to man or harmful to man, right? Numbers 31 and 7. And they warred against the Midianite, black folks. And as the Lord commanded Moses, they slew all the males. 31 and 17. Now, therefore, kill every male among the little boys. So ask a question, Todd, man. You got you huh? 30 seconds left. Go ahead. Ask your question. All right. Now, and then it says, to all the women children that have not known a man by lying with him, virgin girls, you can keep them alive. And you can have them for yourselves. Now, so are the deaths of elevated men beneficial to man? All right. Go ahead, Judah. Yes. All right, go ahead, Cosmo. Okay. 15 seconds left. Oh, wow. This dude is evil, right? So it's okay seconds. to traffic then molest? All right, go ahead, Judah. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> I, think, I think we already got that. Time. Next question. So not time. only is your God a pederast, Oh, but he's it. also a pedophile. Okay, Dang. come on, Cosmo. All right. All right, man. That Man, Dang. that was... That, hey, that was brutal as being a goddamn moderator to keep that civilized, man, because that, hey, that could have went left, hey, right, outfield. Hey, Judah, right. I got some more questions for your I, God if you it, still want some smoke. Okay, hold up. Now, we, now, now we're going to go ahead and let y'all go ahead and close out the... Uh, 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 excuse me. I got me stuttered. God damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, three-minute closing? Is that enough to get? Three-minute closing, man. Then we're going to get to the judge. So go ahead, Judah, uh, close out. This was a great right. debate, man. I appreciate everybody. It's about uh, almost 200 people in here, man. Y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe, man. We doing the damn thing. Go ahead. Go ahead, right. Judah. Karim, get, 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 the camera on, get the camera on Judah. Let him, yeah, look, yeah, yeah. Let him close it out. You know what? Miss Karim might have stepped away. Hold up. All right. I think she might have stepped away. She got to handle this and handle the kids. So, you know. Oh, there she go. All right. Go ahead, Judah Nash. You in the building. Go ahead. Three minutes. All right, judges, come on, man. I think everybody saw here what's going on. This dude was freestyling for three rounds straight. I even went and took a smoke break. <laughs> Green, no chemicals, no drugs. Nate Senator drugs. Uh, for three <laughs> rounds, this guy freestyled and made up stuff. Uh, diarrhea of the mouth. And talked about uh, space, the new frontier. Snowflakes, gay porn, Thor, Dungeons and Dragons. You know, talk, talk about everything. But he did substantiate that the people or the characters inside of his book cannot be substantiated through historicity, through sources, through linguistics, or just 
any evidence of them existing at all. He said, no, there is no evidence of these people that he's trying to push on you as existing. While I, for this debate, showed you through sources, various kings, their the contemporaries who were Israelites, who, who also that these other people also mentioned as well. So if you guys said the Bible's fake, why are there people out there who are talking about us in antiquity, which means a long time ago, thousands of years ago, not 1800s, not 1900s, like 900 and something yeah, BCE, whatever, right? So I showed that with sources. So if you didn't learn anything, you learned, Judah showed you like, hey, look, you can find outside sources that, that, that will substantiate the existence of the Israelites and our kingdoms and, and our prophets and our kings and our priests and so, so, you know, so on and so on. However, these other dudes, their shit, you can't verify that. He even said it. We went through all his Ashars, his Drubas, his Corporeans, his Ions. He said you can't find these things in in life, they're only in the imagination of a goddamn dentist, uh, uh, science fiction author. And this is what happens you come against the Torah Knights, you come against Israelites, you get clapped the fuck down. <clears throat> get these niggas the F a body here. Cosmo, kid, you gotta have a better, you gotta have better than a uh, fucking funny day to come up to your death, bro. It's three rounds of straight ass kicking. And guess what? I was smoking like a champ yesterday, came in, still baked, and whooped that ass. Y'all didn't see no hyper Judah to death. I whooped that ass. Take it easy. Now y'all gotta sit back and listen to these goddamn lies and uh, judges do the right thing. Y'all know, according to the topic of the debate, y'all know who brought it. Come on, stop. All right. To the Nas has laid it down. Now it's up to Cosmo and Kyle to go ahead and finish it out with your three minutes. Then we All get right, into now, the. I was no. gonna, I was gonna go with my um. Let put me the camera on Cosmo, sister Karen, please. Thank you. Let me put. Let me put it. Let me uh. Let me go ahead because remember, y'all. Remember, don't none of this mean shit if your God is fake. Judah Nas tells y'all and will tell and have been telling anybody who will listen, he worshiped Yahweh Akah. Right? He worshiped Yahweh Akah. Is my screen sharing? Share my screen, please. Uh, you okay, remember, you <clears throat> he worships. Yahweh Akkad. So let's look at Leviticus 17 and 7. This is what they was doing. And they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils. This keep is the these com Hebrews. Keep comments rolling, Karim. After whom they have gone a whoring. Your God called you a hoe. The toilet nights, right? Because y'all ass. This shall be a statue forever unto them throughout their generations. Hey. Look, Hosea 2 and 17 says, for I will take away the names of the Balim out of their mouth and they shall no more be remembered by their name. Look, but the text never says the Hebrews ever stop worshiping the false doctrine of the Levite that was given by the Balim. In which your God contradicts himself, saying he never gave you laws of blood and sacrifice at all. That's during your so-called 40 days, 40 years in the wilderness. Now, point being that, right? You don't actually know or who or what you're praising. We're you're just throwing learning. around, you're just throwing around titles. So <clears throat> is it possible, right? That the names of the Baalims removed were removed from you. Could it be possible you're still praising the false Baalim today? I want this boy to read them and weep. Right? 30 seconds remember. Remember, he praised Yahweh Kod. This is Baal speaking, the false god, Baal. Hear then the commandments of your God, Baal, ruler of heaven and earth. You shall go down to the earth to the Argosians, the Greeks, and obsess them. Man, woman, and child, and inspire them to terrible havoc and deeds of bloody havoc against the Persians. This is 486 at the Battle of Thermopylae. Look, who, look who Ball is talking to. And while you are thus providing corporeal destruction for this evil goddess Ashtaroth, my heavenly host under Yahweh Akkad, uh oh, Yahweh Akkad is a Balin. Uh-oh, your God, my Lord of God, Sintheca, your God is a fucking worker, B. Ten seconds. You see what I'm talking about? So 
I just decapitated your God. Here go, ain't no way in hell it say Yahweh God. And guess what? He giving he getting orders from Baal. And that's why you hey. got a gay demon on you. Oh, right? right. Because your God oh, God's is God. a Baalima demon himself. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. How a God toilet nights, you uh, ass. You all just right. got a body four zip. Okay. Get in the trunk, punk. All right, now. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. Put yeah. your guns up. They hate when Cosmon talk like this. Because right, I know Kyle what I'm Mar talking about. Kyle Kyle Mar now you, you got to level it out. The, 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 the battle's right over right now. All right. Karima, go ahead and, and, and share your screen and, 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 and uh, put the camera on all of us, man. Ooh. Hey, I, hey, I ain't going to lie. This, this was a, a proposal you that fell off again. Let me. I hope you can come back on. I'll put the link back in there for you real quick. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, man. Like I say, man, I told you at the lines then we bringing out the top debaters in our community, man. And as y'all can see, they ain't no ain't no biases over here with JJ. Yeah. JJ stay out the way. Unlike Frankie, he always got to get in the way. See, I'm just gonna throw a shot at his old pumpkin head ass. That's what he do. But over Damn. here at the lines then, if y'all want a fair debate, y'all want the moderator to stay out the way. You see what I'm saying? You don't want and and, and, and if your crew come over here, your crew is protected. Because we give all, everybody from different different sets uh, of wrench. You see what I'm saying? Because we want to make it fair for everybody. This Lions Den is for everybody. Now let's go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, for the for what we all been waiting for. We finna get to the judges. And also, we're going to do a poll. We're going to do a poll in the audience. And then we're also going to do a poll outside where we can where everybody can go vote. So, like I say, it's not, hey, everybody, everybody can participate. And then if y'all want, after the, after the decision by the panel, <laughs> we can let some people alone and y'all can kind of get you know, <coughs> as long as it stay re respectful. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first uh, judge of the panel. And that's, that's that brother, just us. Go ahead, just us. Where you at? Brother, just us, you there? Okay, so that's why we got four judges. Cause I'm your mic, bro. Hey, you can hear me? Yeah, okay, there you go. I hope you didn't fall asleep. All right, go ahead. Uh, no, I thought. I thought. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you think? Uh, I definitely think it was great, man. Um, it was entertaining. I, I yeah, yeah. Um, I loved the back and forth information. Um, yeah. Um, Brother Cosmos, he, he definitely brought some information to you know his claim on how he tried to back up um each section of what he speak on especially during the question and answer i think he did really great on that um the other brother did great as well too i definitely like how he connected information um towards the bible as well too um i and i i think brother cosmo did more of information based on history as because he tried as to me it seemed as when he speak on something he tried to connect the actual dots in history versus the type the 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 the, the historic the, the his cross history of the bible versus history is two different meanings i think brother cosmo more did the history itself versus connecting all the literature together to it and I, I I think um the other brother did more of the the title than anything else to me personally. Um but I still think brother Cosmo whether the information he brought is true or not, he did do a good job on his delivery on this information. But um to me based on the based on the on the title I have the the give it the brother um the the other brother and, and not um Cosmo. Well, 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 so who, who's the other brother? You got Judah Nazareth and you oh, got Judah Nazareth. Nazareth. Yeah, Judah Nazareth. I'm talking about when they say that. Okay, and, and you're not a Bible believer, right? You don't believe in none of these books. No, I mean I'm just going by with the title okay. on the book. Um saying because <clears throat> when you when you look up the 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 the, the his um uh, when you look at the title, right, it's just identifying like author events characters people patterns etc and i think the other brother did more identifying 
what Who's he other, talked oh, who about. Oh, oh, who the other brother? You gotta, you gotta oh, go. Judah Nazareth. Okay. Judah Nazareth and, and man, the same. Okay. Right. So I, I think he did more on identifying verses than just showing history because there's two different meanings to it. And I'm going actually to the title meaning. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go to the Dagger Squad. Uh, uh, one of the representatives for the Dagger Squad. I'm talking about the brother Kyle. He also has a debate coming up pretty soon against Kansu. Go ahead, uh, brother Kyle. What do you think? Unmute your mic, family. Unmute your mic, family. Okay, so we're not even going to see. We're not even going to use him. All right, go ahead, brother uh, uh, Solomon. Go ahead, Aki. Peace, peace. What's going on, guys? All right. Can I hear me? Yeah, we yeah, hear you. Peace to you, bro. Peace. Um. Yeah, it was a it was a great debate. Uh, I think both debaters brought um, very interesting information. Um, I think that um, um, the the brother Judah Nazareth he presented information. Um, he did a better job at presenting information that was attached to historical reference um so uh i think that the other brother um he presented a lot of interesting information and some of it was attached to historical reference um so it wasn't like he didn't use historical reference but i think that judah was more more um designed his argument around the topic more than the other brothers. So, so, um, and I'm sorry, what's the brother name again? I don't want to keep on calling the other brother. Cosmo, Cosmo, Kai. Cosmo, Kai. So, um, I think Cosmo, Kai, like, you know, during the question around, he kind of more resorted to ad hominem attacks. It wasn't really disproving the topic of the historicity. It was like he was getting into, like, you know, asking them about personal homosexual, like, I, you kind of wasted time when it was, it was fun. I was laughing. It was in very entertaining. Um, but in terms of the topic, it was, it was just like a waste of questions to ask them about things that wasn't really centered around the topic. Um, so not to be too long with it. I'm just going to give it to, uh, Judah Nazareth. All right. Okay, brother. And the last just, I think, uh, Kaya. I don't know what happened to him. He might. And unbiased sports. Go ahead, family. Yeah, I think the two other judges was like spot on. I, I think that might be the consensus. Um, I think a different subject title. I think the brother Cosman would have did a better job. But with the subject title as it is. I think it's just a very easy decision. And like, I can explain, like I, I Suleiman was right. The other brother was more funny, entertaining, uh, but that was about it as far as the topic, as far as his arguments on the topic. And he really dropped the ball on the question and answering. Like, like that's what widened the gap because he really didn't ask any relevant questions according to the topic. Okay. All right. Now, in the audience, y'all go ahead and vote a one for Cosmon and a two for Judah. And then also, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, these are just opinions, right? No, no, no possible. You, you, you're not a judge, family. I mean, we're we gonna let the we're gonna let the audience come up and and speak after this. But I got specific ones. Okay, family. Okay, champ. All right. Uh, so this is why I brought four judges up here, just in case one of them falls asleep. And I think uh, Kyle over there, <laughs> he didn't fell asleep. So this is so that's why I always bring an extra. Now the, the audience is voting. It's a bunch of ones. I see some twos. So Cosmon does have some people that's supporting his viewpoint. I see some ones. I see some twos. So uh, like I say, it was a great debate, man. I enjoyed it. I learned some information by snowflakes and different things of that nature that I never heard of. 
That's you know. So both of these brothers brung out. Oh, hold up, hold up, Apostle. Hold up, Apostle. Come on, man. Yeah, leave your mic muted. All right. So what we're gonna do, Karima? Where can we put this poll at so they can vote outside of the? And where can they find it? Where can we put it? Because every I don't think everybody's subscribed to the Lions Den. Can, oh, can we put it like at like you know how they put it like on 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 the YouTube channel a poll and then they can vote there? Can we do that? So scream. You know you can throw a poll inside the chat room, right? Yeah. Okay. Can we do that real quick? Can we throw the poll inside the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. go to the um the. Um, Options on the um okay. We're gonna we're gonna put the poll inside the chat so the we're interacting with the audience right yeah, now. It is what it is, man. That's why opinions is like assholes. You dig what I'm talking about? Yeah, Everybody it's, it's got one. Yeah, I mean, see what yeah, the chat's got... saying though. Many okay. people voting. Did I see them voting twice, hey, three times, four times? Uh, All right. All right. Hey, 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 hit me with some vortexes in the chat, man. Let's get this thing moving, man. Hey, hey, Creative is Come on, come on, y'all. Please, 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 please. It's going good. I'm gonna let you go, possible. Let me just handle this real quick. All right, champ. All right, I got you, Kyle. You know, you didn't got dang it. All right, well, see, this is why I got this. Is why I brought four. All right, we, okay, Kyle. I don't know if your mic muted, but Kareem is gonna put a, a, a poll in the chat. Now, if anybody want to come on the panel and ask, if y'all got time, if y'all want to ask a few questions, we can do a few questions. I just want to show some things. Okay, go ahead, champ. This, this, all right. This, all right, this, this is it's over with. I mean, you I got people. I want to share my screen, right? I just okay. want to share my screen because they are matters of truth. But, and, but, and, but you, hold up, champ! You got to let me finish, and then and then y'all can get oh. it in. That's all I'm asking. I'm not trying to be rude, but let me just finish my sentence, please. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, just let me say this, Karima. You you got the poll in the chat, right? She's she's working on it, all right. And um, the judges on the panel have made their decision. Now we want to see what the people in the audience are gonna think once this chat, once this poll is up. Now go ahead, champ. Now you can go, and then we're gonna have people come up if they want to ask a few questions. Right, I just, and then we're wrap I it just, up. Go ahead, champ. I just want to share my screen. All right, go, go ahead. All right. Now, this was a great debate, man. Uh, and then the also, hold on, let me make an announcement while he's sharing the screen. We got another debate coming up. Uh, maybe Karima can play the advertisement of the other debate. It is uh, the brother Daryl, uh, Daryl the Destroyer, uh, Cosmon going against Gideon, the Ghana Stepper. Now, they got a, they got a different structure uh, for their debate. Their debate is actually October 14th, which is, what is that? What is, okay, yeah, that's almost a couple of weeks from now. Uh and, and and then I think there's they're they're debating something about I think uh uh one round is about science they got it structured into three different parts. I have to go look it up real quick and I can read it to y'all. But then we got that, and I'm trying to say La Shalom. I want you to come on the panel because the brother Takori uh wants to get it in with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh this won't be the last time, and, uh, and you know, you know, we're gonna interact with each other. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, this is go ahead. Okay, she's working on it, bro. She's oh, she's uh, trying to uh, apostle. She's trying to get the uh, the poll in the chat. All right, just let me know when it's ready. Okay, it's up there, champ. Go ahead. All right. Now, this is about Constantine the Great and what went on in the Council of Nicaea, because there's a lot of confusion. This is documented. This is evidence. This is facts. Okay, this ain't my information. This is facts of what went on at the Council of Nicaea and the Nicaean Creed. It didn't deal with canonization. Mm -hmm. It did not deal with what books went into the Bible. It dealt with the subject whether Christ was divine. Mm -hmm. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The two opposing reasonings. I have to use the restroom. A chat, real quick. I got to use the restroom. Can, uh, uh, y'all gonna be all right without me for about a minute or two? Yeah, as all long right. as I'm not interrupted. I just want to okay. get this right. out. Uh, 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 so, my hold it down until I get back, please. All right, all right. The council of Nicaea, what was discussed was whether the triune God. 
or rather Christ was a man just like the rest of us. That was the discussion. And that took place in 325 AD. Constantine the Great died in 347, years before the Bible was canonized. Now, they want to know, Cosmon wanted to know when was the first Bible canonized? Well, let's see. I, I actually didn't ask that. Well, <laughs> you did because you said when was the first Bible written? I just said all the black people got kicked out. No, 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 see, no, no. Let me, don't interrupt me now. Cause I'm about to bust your head. Don't the areas get the areas get exiled and excommunicated. No, 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 sir. Let's go back. Let's not interrupt me, okay? For I mean, the bad is over with. Hey, look, everything. hold on, hold, hey, hey, apostle. Before you go, you dig what I'm talking about? Look, man, we going I'm gonna go live on the um, on Cosmon Cal TV, man, for the after debate, man. Y'all come through, kick it with your boy, man. Hey, stay Later, it's man, hold on, hold on, hold hey, on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I, you you can go right after I, I'm done. No, no, man, no. Listen. I have hey, listen. Hold on, hold on, damn. Huh? You ain't even part of the debate, bro. Hold on. I understand, but right, tried to hey, look, over to me. I'm about to go live, man. Hey, oh, what's up, everybody, man? Thank y'all for all the debaters. Thank you, man. Lions, 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 Archaeology to astronomy improved everything on a historical record with science, with the historical record. You did what I'm talking about. So, hey, you did what I'm talking about. Let them judge it how they want to. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's a debate. Hey, man, I'm Cosmon. Breathe in. Let the light in. We're going to party on Cosmon Cal TV after this. Listen, let's turn up, man. Drop the megaton bomb over this thing. And I'm out. He did what he do, interrupt, create confusion, and then all of a sudden, I got to take a back side. I got to stop talking because you see I'm coming with evidence. I'm about to blow his monkey shit out of the water. Talking about snowflakes? I grew up in Washington, D.C. I goddamn seen snow since I was a child. I know what snow feels like. I didn't need yeah, I'm from COVID, yeah. to tell me what snow looked like. And as far as all those homonyms, Charles Darwin, decades before the birth of Lord John Warsby, had already talked about that shit. And science is a theory that we come from apes. That shit ain't exact. What are you talking about? He done proved it. He ain't proved shit because you call something a fact. Don't make it a fact. Y'all gullible as shit. You gullible as shit. The first Bible was written at 397 A.D. in Carthage, Egypt, Africa. And it was called the Vulgate Bible. Don't let these guys flim-flam you. I'm going to stop sharing my screen right now, Karima. Because this sharing my screen is going to talk about 
the schematic, the snap. It's going to talk about this book. And before this book is the Vaticus. And before the Vaticus right. is the Olympics. The Jewish Olympics. This Thank book was me on. in 170 AD. But it is not a Bible. The first Bible was written in 397. The Vulgate Bible in Latin by Jerome. Years before the Osapi was written in 2082. Right, right. There's two copies of the Owaspi. Which one is the truth? They're written 12 years apart. And they are different. So which one is the mm. truth? Come up here with this bullshit. Eating out of this white man's ass. How dare they bring some shit to the table written by Esau? That's right. And gonna call it the Bible. It ain't no Bible. Right. It's a book written by one author. The Bible got 42 different authors written over a 1500 year period. 42 different Hebrew people. Not other people other than Hebrews, but Hebrews, Jewish Israelites, Yasharala. Newberg is not a Hebrew. How is he going to continue no damn God's word? Look, y'all can't be gullible. <laughs> I will blow that shit out of the water any day. And show it for the bastard ass comments that it is. You show me a Bible consisting of the Old Testament and the New Testament older than the Brit Hadashah. Show me one. Show it to me. And if you don't know what the Brit Hadashah is, go back to school, goddammit. All right. Let's, let's check out the poll, ladies and gentlemen. I had to step off for a second. Good job you did, Judah. I, th I, think I hate you. to admit it. Goddammit. Man, you did a good job. I said, hate thank to admit you, it. Thank you. Thank I hate to admit it. Okay, we see the, let's, see what the, <laughs> let's see what the poll's saying, ladies. Oh, Kyle, oh. Kyle, you, you didn't fell asleep. I love you, brother. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, let me look at this poll. Uh, should we leave the poll up for another minute or two? Not, we... It's not an old in New Testament, brother. It's only an old. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, I, can, I don't even see the poll. Where the poll at? Let's see. Oh, it's 100. Okay, 107 people didn't vote it. Yeah, I put deuces all the way across. All right, Kramer, can you can you can you show the poll? Uh, anyway, we can show the poll. I, I see it from my my standpoint. Oh, you can't. Okay. Oh, it's it's close, man. Shit. It, uh, it, Jerry, let me say this real quick to Kramer. I put the phone number in the back chat to my cousin that we discussed yesterday. I got it. Thank you. She's looking for your phone call. All right, we got indigenous black man. He want to. He want to chime in, ladies and gentlemen. Hold up. And and and, and, and the, I'm gonna let the poll stay for another minute or two. Cause man, it's like forty seven percent to to uh, fifty something percent. It's close. Oh, that's not close, Jay. In the in a presidential rate, they would call that a landslide. No, 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 no. You're not listening. It's to fifty two. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that's been a landslide. Okay, hold up, proposal. Hold up, hold up, champ. All right, go ahead, indigenous black man. Hold up. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, I just wanted to say, you know, this, I'm coming in in the sense of, you know, my guy, 
Uh, Wait, hold, hold, hold up a digits real quick. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no way. Only one judge did not answer. I, I am minor. The, uh, the other judges was Solomon. Right. And, uh, uh, unbiased. And then uh, who was in my third one? And then the third one. They were all away. That's why I brought four. Right. Just in case one. Just us. And just us. So, no, nobody fell asleep. Except for Kyle ass. Yeah, Kyle. Uh, we, we don't know if he's <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he doing a, a Yasha Ben Israel. Yasha Ben Israel fell asleep on three debates. Messed me up. I had to do polls, man. But, yeah. No, nah, he's, he's over here. He's over here trying to sabotage the sabotage the platform for the, the Bumba Clot, Tudo Clot. That's what he's doing. Who's trying it's to do that? Bumba Clot. For, for Garfield and the Bumba Clot, Tudo Clot. Oh, no. Nah, Sorry. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> well, go ahead. Hey, listen. Let me tell you something. 1881, man, you know, that was the, uh, let me see. At the same time, Charles Darwin's final book, The Formation of Mold Through Action, right? Darwin's cousin, 12 years younger, you know, he was running around, the creator of eugenics, uh, Francis Galton, right? Really? Now, this was during the Age of Enlightenment, uh -huh. all right? That's what the time, this is the time period that we're talking about. This is what we're dealing with. And uh, several novels and ideas, also several novel ideas about religion developed with the Enlightenment, in, including deism, D-E-I-S-M, and atheism. All right, now listen to this. Okay, Jefferson wrote his Bible then, too. Did y'all know during the 30-year during the war, Jefferson wrote his own Bible around the same time, right? Now, Jefferson went further and dropped any passages dealing with miracles, visitation of angels, resurrection, any of that. He just got rid of it, right? This is going on. Thomas Paine said deism is a simple belief in, in the creator with no references to the Bible or any other miracle source. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going, like I said, during the Age of Enlightenment, during all of this new way of thinking that we're coming into. And you got George Washington doing the same, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Thomas Jefferson doing the same thing, but he's dropping any passages dealing with miracles, visitation of angels, and the resurrection of Jesus after his death. This is the same thing that the, the Wasi is doing. I could go further, I could go a whole lot further and a whole lot deeper, but I'm not going to, all right? And that was my question for old boy. Now I got a question for Judy Nass. Nass, Nass sir, what's up, buddy? Uh, uh, Karima, can you drop the link? Uh, SMH369 uh, want to uh, get in here. Well, let me see if I can do I can't do it while I got uh, indigenous on the, on, on the phone. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done, JJ, real quick. I don't want to take up your time. I know you're busy, brother. I appreciate no, you answering no, the phone. No, do your thing. Do your thing. Go on, Biggie. Go on, brother. If God, has, if God has no form, right, then explain 1 Corinthians 2, 5, and 6. Now, pull, pull that up for him, or pull that up for, for, you, for, you know, look it up for yourself, and then explain that. And explain the, that whole okay. 1 Corinthians 2. We're talking about the fingers okay. and the hands and all this. Okay, now what, not saying that you know it's a physical form, but I'm saying there is, you know, he's saying that he's made up of many parts, brother. The celestial bodies and the celestial bodies. We know that. So, so, so I appreciate you, JJ. And like I said, uh, this is the fact checker, the new fact checker of the Lions Den, coming in to shut all these retarded ass arguments down that we've been having for the last twenty years, over and over and over, hmm. stuck in the same rut. And I, I love all of y'all. Keep your head high and your grass low, and stop lying to my people. Peace. All right. You said you got that ready. All right. You know, you know, archaeologists are saying now. Uh -huh. Within the last three weeks, they have found the remains of the mummified bodies of Osiris. And guess what? He ain't a god. Osiris is a regular man. He has a body that was mummified mm -hmm. like any other body that was mummified. And you know what else? 
They didn't find him in the Great Pyramid. They found him in the Valley of Kings. I got three articles right now on YouTube set to go about this recent founding. They can show you what it looked like. Osiris was a man. And he went by other names as Asa, Maduk, Thor, Thought, Thought, Inky. He went by other names. And they got all these names written on his tomb. Okay. Did you know that? Okay, Apostle, I think, yeah, we're we going to let you get it back in, but I think that question was for Judah, and I don't know if he forgot the question. Do you understand uh, indigenous black man question, Judah asked? Uh, yeah, uh, he asked something about Corinthians. Yes, sir. But well, you can't use like a, a later writing in like the 50, 60 ADs to overrule the Torah and prophets, so it's not even, yeah. just everyone knows these are the rules when it comes to the Old Testament Judah has to doesn't deal with the New Testament. That's why I, I, I didn't really. No, that's not. That's, that's not. That's not even. Even if I did, I'd still know that no New Testament scripture overrides the quote unquote Old Testament because you have to go back to the old. If the, if the if the new is the fulfillment of the old, then you need the old to substantiate it. So you can't put the new above the old, or before I should say, you can't you can't put the new before the old. It's impossible. Right. That's why it's called new. Right. Okay. All right. We got a, uh, okay. We got another brother on the panel. I don't know. It, it's no name. It's just E. But go ahead. Hey, you want a question? Yeah. What's good? Oh, with you, e Biz. Go ahead, E Biz. Yeah. What's good with you, JJ? All right, man. We just what's doing what we do at the Dean. You know how we do. Yeah. And uh, look, before you go in, uh, like I said, I appreciate the creator game, man. I appreciate uh, tour nights. I appreciate Solo Mind Debate League, all of y'all, and even Dagger Squad represent, representative, <laughs> representative. <laughs> even though he fell asleep over there. I don't know what he was. God damn. Is learning. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, go ahead, E-Bizzle. And then uh, we got about three more minutes. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, close the polls down. But right now, Judah Nazareth is, is 130 votes. That's, 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 that's a good, good lot of people voting. And it's fifty-two percent for Judah and forty-four for Cosmon. So that's a landslide. Yeah, so, you, not, you not, really, not really. Not really. That's too, that's too much for. Uh, in terms of president, that's a landslide. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Uh, go ahead, uh, 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 Ibiza. Yeah. Peace and uh, shalom, the uh, apostle and uh, Judah. You know, I, I had voted for uh, Judah. Come on, brother. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's up, brother? Um, I think a lot of times with, with uh, Cosmon, Cal, and uh, Waspy, they brought this book out. This, 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 this is a book that was brought brought out in the eighteen hundreds. So you really can't even bring that book out. You know, it's almost like it's it's like the Book of Mormon, right? Exactly. It's like the Book of Mormon. So if anybody know about the Book of Mormon. Then you you would know about that. So, you know, I voted for uh for Judah, and you know I'll leave it at that. Okay, all right. Uh, we got uh now I don't want to mess this name up. Uh, uh Shaka Waka. That's Tyrone. No, this this should be goddamn bill. That's that's Tyrone Waka. That's Enoch. Oh. But uh, you know, yeah, my Enoch. thing about this, yeah, that's Enoch. Yeah, no, that's Enoch. That's my thing, I'm not my thing about the debate is, is when the watch the Bible, people say, burn the Bible in the Bible in real. You can go in the watch the Bible if the author of the watch the Bible refers to the Sabbath day and say that he keep the Sabbath, where did he get it from other than the Holy Bible? And exactly. Judah could have eaten and Judah could have easily demolished them when he brought up about the pyramids of Egypt. All they had to do was go to the Book of Maccabees. What did they find on the uh 
in the pyramids in Egypt. They found ships. All this is written in the book of Maccabees. Simon mm. built them when he was the American. The warship, the whole nine. They on the pyramids. He could have easily got them got them with that though. But I prescribe to the Watson Bible as well as the Holy Bible. I don't okay. see a problem with information. I don't see a problem with knowledge. My Bible tells me a fool despises knowledge. And if you despise and reject knowledge, God don't just only reject you, he rejects your children as well. And Cosmo knows that the Bible speaks about keeping the Sabbath day. And if the author of the Watson Bible said keep the Sabbath, where did he get it from other than the Holy Bible? Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. All right, I see we got Sister Ayamana. If you want to come on and say a few things, I see her and Carla kind of uh, disagreeing. That would be a great conversation, Sister Ayamana and Sister Carla. Both lines. Yeah, in can, I hey, can, can I respond real quick, uh, J J J Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Judah. Th thank you, JJ. Listen, you guys. You know, I know everyone's being nice today. I, I Corey, it. come on back up. Oh, come ahead. on, man. We, we got to admit that... Uh, there's been some some doozy false doctrines out there, but this one might be the wackiest. But I used to think flat earthers were the wackiest. No, these guys are way worse because this makes no sense. So the way I, when, when as soon as he latched on to the the historicity part, I knew that as soon as he bit that, that it was a wrap, because he has to go into that book and prove the events in there are historical. That the 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 characters in the of the narrative in that book are historical, and can be validated by historicity, in a time, event, area, you know, century, just certain little details is going to pinpoint. Okay, the, he he said this group of people exist. Okay, where where can I find them in secular history? Just in history to to substantiate that your book is real, or it's about as that's what I kept juxtaposing, putting mine up, or not mine, putting the Bible up with the people to substantiate them by historicity with their with their, their inscriptions or their carvings. That's all I needed is to keep punching. Well, the the big topic says this. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I mean, well, I'm gonna do this but right like like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And that's what we do. I can do this all day. So there's no doubt where there's not you're not gonna get a uh but then it was his turn to substantiate, bro. Is that book real, bro? Is there anything of this book that you teach that can be substantiated in history? You, 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 know, with Judah, you know what, Judah? Yeah. That, that's why. Well, I, I hope that's it because I, I, I want Takori to go next, and then we go out there, and then you chime in after that. And um, once Judah get done, go, go ahead, Judah. Yeah, so yeah, this, I'm glad the brother uh, took that. But shout out to uh, Cal Cosmon. You know, it's a darn shame that our young brothers and sisters are uh, going to cults that are about as real as, like, you know, you know, Disney. I mean, someone writing a, writing a freaking uh, great comic book, really. I mean, you a great science fiction author of mine. And these guys took it as, like, some inspiration for, for life. Like, well, it's not a religion. Yeah, it's not a religion. You guys are in a cult. And your boy got seen. Your, one of your top dudes got wrenched 3 0. Even dudes who don't even like me knew, as long as I stuck to the topic, that's all I need to do. Like, well, I mean, come on, man. You can hate me. You'd be like, well, I right, think Judah sucks. But, yo, according to the topic of the debate, like, yo, he, he stuck to three rounds. You didn't do it once. You lost, you lose. So, just that's why I said it goes out to all the guys in this. Yeah, and that, that's all I was saying. You know what I mean? He uh he just wasn't really on topic. Like I said, it was it was very entertaining. He's a, he's he got a lot of charisma. Debater. He's a good debater. Yeah, you. yeah, but it was like he was all like off topic. I was like, damn, if he if he can only apply it to the debate topic, you know. Uh so you know that's 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 you know, you know, Judah Judah, you know, Judah's a veteran debater, so you know, he 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 has like, you know, all the technical, you know, he he won based off of his technical skills, you know what I'm saying? The structure and the argument. And, you know, he learned that from, you know, uh, you know, me, Solomon. I had to teach him, teach him that, you, you know, he, he was that's under true. my tutelage, uh, see, yeah. you know, and, and now he's uh, become yeah, a better true. debater as a result of being under the foot of Solomon. Mm. 
the, the, the shuffle buck them until the on the screen <laughs> so they can see that. Uh, okay, up, hold, hold, uh, 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 hold up, chap. I, I want uh, to Corey to. Did we gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just saying put that. I want them to see it. Uh, uh, okay, put it on big screen. What, what we got going on here is what the latest discoveries of Osiris's tomb. Mm -hmm. They found the actual body. It's a man. Oh, okay. Okay, and that's not all. I mean, it's a bunch of them. Well, they they, well, they, they deify I mean, they deify their kings, though. You know, once they pass, uh, them, they become gods. Yeah, but, but, yeah. I mean, but I'm yeah. just saying how they become gods is based on the fact that they are human beings. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, and that's the same with. Uh, all these other uh, gods that they talk about, they're not real gods. They're <coughs> human beings that actually had a birth date and a death date. They can't produce a pyramid today based on the way they build it. Many years they can't reproduce a pyramid, right? Based on how they were done. Okay, go go ahead, uh, to Corey. You want to make a statement, a comment, or who you thought won the debate? Go ahead, brother. To Corey TKO, go ahead. You got unmute your mic. All right, so maybe he having technical to Corey. Can you? He, he, you hear he, me? He, yeah, now we hear you. Go ahead. I can I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, you good, family. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, peace to the panel and peace to the people. Uh, congratulations, congratulations, Judah, on your victory. Uh, what I looked at in the debate was he was using a lot of cosmic cow. He was using a lot of dates, but he wasn't bringing no primary sources and no eyewitness account to verify those dates. He was just making those dates, but he wasn't connecting them to any source that existed during the time of those dates. You know, when you're dealing with the historicity, you have to bring primary sources and eyewitness accounts to validate your claim. I didn't see him. He probably had one source that dealt with history. He pulled out one source the whole debate. One. One source. He started talking about um the the monkeys and stuff like that using evolutional science and stuff but the problem is his book is a 25,000 year time span of history which means he would have to show we coming from monkeys 25,000 years ago you know mm -hmm. if he want to do that so what he did was he has stepped in mainstream science but the mainstream science tell you that humans came from monkeys millions of years ago not no twenty five thousand years ago so even mainstream science didn't back up that claim all the way so be that as it may since he just made up some dates and i, I ain't saying like he well he made up those dates due to the fact that we didn't see no primary source attachment that showed that that actually happened during those same dates that he had you know what i'm saying there was no source he just said, oh, he just used this date and said, okay, this date resorts to 4,500 BCE. Okay, well, what's the source that validates that? What's a primary source that validates that? You know what I'm saying? Because the primary source will tell you. Where's the artifact? Where's the archaeological site? Where's all of this at? Eyewitness account. It, it wasn't there. So, and then in the Q&A, he started talking about Brother Judah Nazareth getting personal with Judah Nazareth talking about uh, questioning if he's gay. Like, what that got to do with history? What that got to do with the history of your Owaski? Ain't got nothing to do with your history in the Owaski. You start talking about, you start trying to pull the Sinetta. Mm. Talking about the killing of two bears. What's, what that got to do with the history of the Owaski? Don't make no sense. So, that's why I had to. That's why I say Judah won this debate. I'm, I, I don't even have to be biased on that. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he just didn't handle his business. He didn't handle his business. And y'all, I don't think like I'm gonna be blunt. 
I don't think he is a good debater like that because a good debater dealing with history would connect primary sources to what he said. Because that's what history is all about, proving your, your book in history, which he didn't. Now, Judah Nazar did that. He, he pulled out he pulled out uh he pulled out like different concepts of history and compared them and linked them to the Bible. He did what he was supposed to do. Then he had sources. He had sources. I saw the links of his sources, and then I clicked the links of his sources and investigated them myself. Mm. So fact check it. So, you always so do that. that's the thing. I, I li literally like read 75% of almost all the sources he had on there. That's why it took me a while to get back on the screen. You know what right. I'm saying? So congratulations, Judah. Uh, I wish that Shala Salom can come up on here and, 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 and hold his nuts up and be able to debate. Because he he accepted the challenge. Now <clears> he want to run because I read his book. Oh. So Shala Salom. He got a book? I am oh, ask awesome. me. Okay. I, Shala Salom. I'm tired of you debating folks that didn't read your book. You can you say you want somebody to, to debate somebody that read your book. I read your book. Now you want to back out of the debate that you that you agreed to. You said bring it on. You're gonna show that Noah is white. Okay, fine. I'll let you do that. Cause I'm just gonna show you that he got locks. And you're gonna have right. to show who you're gonna have to show who has more. I mean, who's consistent with having locks. He, he was an albino. Everybody knows that. White folks are black folks. Right. And then I show you how I am people got I, I show you how your how your how your white I am folks got straight hair. And I sent it to and so shit. Come on the panel. Or I guess you not. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like I, I just don't like I just don't like when folks get on the panel and stuff like that. I mean challenge you to a, I mean accept the challenge and then don't want to debate after that. That's a waste yeah. of time, but that's it. Yeah, JJ right. from, here, from ear to ear. You can okay. tell what he like. I was laughing at you about you double fisted over there. Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> you got the chaser? Yeah, well, my, my drinking days is over. Man. I, you know what I'm saying? But I remember. Nah, I'd yeah. rather take a drink than smoke that shit any day of the week. Yeah, the, well, the weed is good. I mean, I hear yeah, it is. I tell you that. All right, so we got the brother. Hey, Devi. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got the brother Devion from the tour. Nice in the god dang old building. Oh, let me say something before you go, Devion. Look like the polls are closed. We're stuck at 135 votes, and uh, it says Cosmon Kyle, uh, 44 percent of the audience. Why you got to like, drive up to me? Mute your mic, family. Can y'all see that? Forty-four. Yeah, we can see. Okay, forty-four percent vote for uh, and fifty-three percent voted for uh, do the math, and you got a, a, another two percent yes and no. I don't know what the yes and no in, question. In a presidential race, that's a landslide. <laughs> Shit. All right, go ahead, brother Devion. What you got to say? Speak on it. And my bad, I'm gonna try to get it out quick for for my, take your time, my baby bro. start you crying know. again. Let the baby but, cry. Um, the baby got an opinion too. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, but now uh the shalom to the panel. Uh shout out to uh JJ seven thousand and sister you, you, Karima. Well, well, before you know they, what I'm saying? Karima, did you get Devion uh, uh and Judah they ranch? I know Judah got one, but yeah, if he, if he, I, I got one. Okay, I got cool. one. Okay, cool. And, and hey, so, shout out to uh one too. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, shout out to Judah Nazareth, you know what I'm saying, for bringing home another W, you know what I'm saying, to Tour Knights and uh, Israel. But, you know, like, at the end, I mean, even throughout the debate, like, he was off topic, you know what I'm saying. He started talking about monkeys. He started talking about gay demons and all, you know what I'm saying. He wasn't on topic. He didn't really show the historicity or anything. He started talking about snowflakes, <laughs> right? But, right. And then he tried to, at the end, he tried to talk about, you know what I'm saying about the most high is a pedophile and he, he like killing kids and all this. But I mean, that was a, a waspy cult that killed children and starved children. You know what I'm saying? So what, right. what, you, what? you know what I'm saying? Just don't, don't make no sense. Tell that. Now you act as surprised. Kareem, come on. I'm trying to be, <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm, I'm in my, my nine. You heard about those institutions they had back in those days. Kareem, we talk about what you asked. 
All right, let's let that be. Yeah, no, I was just, yeah, let, but let, I was just. Yeah, go ahead, Devian. No, no, I mean he was. I mean he was off topic. He clearly didn't. You know, he didn't. He he didn't bring it home. <laughs> the, you know, not at all. all right. So you know, so like I said, shout out to Ju- shout out to Judah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the wavy. You, the wavy you know when somebody's yeah. reading something that's over their head, and they clearly don't understand it because when they try to explain it, it don't line up with what they're reading. That's what was happening tonight. He was reading shit that was over his own head. He had no understanding for what he was reading. And that's pitiful, man. Right, right. look, I, I just want to say one more thing. Uh, Cosmo, he also brought out a timeline. You can say right? two And he was like, right. he, I don't know, he, he, he brought out a timeline. And it was, oh. and he was like, "See, the Thor y'all talking about is not the Thor, not, not the Thor, Thor of Marvel or the, the Greek, or it's not the God." But it literally said when he brought up the timeline, it said Norse Thor, which was the a, a god, the god of thunder. So I told you, what, what is he, what are you talking about? The son of Odin. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick, Mister Mister Ter- Terrific, come on, man. Hold on, Too yeah. Uh, if y'all read the Urantia book, it ain't no different than the Waspy, because the Arthur he fell asleep or whatever, and some aliens came and helped him ghostwrite it. Well, John, whatever the Arthur of the Waspy is the same thing. Like the beginning of the story is the same as the um, Urantia, the same thing. Okay. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that Esau is only the white man because I know Esau mixes seed with the black man in Africa. Okay. It's real. Okay. All right. But don't tell me that Esau did not mix his seed with them goddamn Romans and them goddamn Greeks. Don't tell me that. I why don't need it. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we talking about Esau? Because. That goddamn Woodsbury, whatever his name is, he Edomite. He who, goddamn Edomite. Who, who and is? They are accepting his word over the word of the Bible. Uh, okay. All right. Then we no, know my, that. My, what's his name? John, or whatever. John Oseby, whatever his name is. Okay. Yeah, Maybe John can come up. All right. Hold up, y'all. Maybe John can come up here and have a civilized conversation with. Well, he'll have to resurrect from the dead. John is the Arthur of the Awaspi. Oh, shit. My fault. Somebody's <laughs> <laughs> odd is. All right. So, look, 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 look. Okay, now we got. He we had got a dream, and they helped him write, you know, the, the story, just like oh. the um, Arantia. <laughs> Two, Two right. different versions over a 12 year period, man. The oh, first yeah. one wasn't right, they had to recorrect it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hold on now. Let's let the wavy brew. Uh, uh, Jeremiah, uh, and he's in the building. He does some debates over here. I think his record was like four and two or something like that. But go ahead, Jeremiah. What you got to say, family? Yo, first off, you know, all praises to the Most High. Um, Shabbat Shalom, by the way. You know, it's Saturday. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so he was all over the place bro i'm just gonna say that oh yeah sh- shout out to judah it was a clean 3-0 he said 4-0 but all the judges ended up voting against him so i don't know what he was talking about <laughs> but um but yeah he was all over the place right there were two things that he said in particular that kind of st- stuck out to me one was he said that the moon was within the earth's atmosphere that's you know like flat earth stuff but supposedly the oaspi was created through automatic writing whatever right second point he said that um, well, he said three things, actually. Yeah. The second one was, he said, God inspired them to name him. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. The third thing he said was, uh, what was it? Fuck, I lost my train of thought. But all in all, he, uh, he was all over the place. And then, like the judges said and everybody else uh, saw in the Q&A, he was, you know, getting really personal, you know, talking and saying things that really had nothing to do with the topic at all. And from, from that alone, when, when you do that, it's like you you are you already lost. Cause now you're starting to, like somebody said, throwing ad hominem attacks, appealing to ridicule, appealing to authority and do, uh, throwing all these fallacies out there. So 
yeah, man, you know, shout out to Judah. You know, he did his thing. All right. Jay, let me yeah. say this, man. Yes. Hey, uh, thank you. Let me, oh, no, let, 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 I'm going to be wrong for saying this. Right. Let me say this, man, because Jeremiah's is here. Oh, well, oh, oh, come on, Possible. Let, let, let's I know. know. Let me say yeah, it. Yeah, please. Yeah, let, let me say, say it. it. Let me say it. Because I got to say it. As an elder, <sighs> give me this moment. Go ahead, Doc. Go ahead, go ahead Doc. This is a different picture. I've never seen this picture of you. I don't know which one to accept, the picture of you before or the picture of you now. Okay, so I'm going I'm to I'm appeal to you, brother. Uh, frankly, since we're here, I need an apology for calling me a nigga. I need an apology from you. Once I get that apology from you, we can move on. All right. All right. Yeah. So in, in, all, in respects to, you know, the platform and, you know, JJ and, and everybody on here, and especially you being that you are like 40 years my elder and stuff like that, right? I, you know, I do apologize. Oh, but thank at, the, you, but thank at the same you, time, same, but at the, yeah, but at the same time, it's like when people say things towards me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, he got hey, I'm going to say something back to you. Right. But anyways, yeah, you know, so, yeah. I, uh, I apologize. I appreciate it. Man, I mean, that, man that, that made me happy, man. I thought y'all were going to just, just blow up, man. God dang. All right, man. I'm glad y'all did that. The apostle, are you going to say something? Are you gonna, Come on, brother. Are you going to accept this what? apology? What, what's going no, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. All right. Don't so bother me, but yeah. I, cool. I accept this apology. All right, thank you. And look, we, and then, I, I can talk about it after the set. Now, come on, yeah. this is a great show. Right, yeah, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Yeah. Do y'all know how hard it is to maintain all these egos? Try moderating. I'm, I'm telling you, it's rough. It is rough. Oh, I'm sure. Man, I'm sure. Hey, hey, uh, uh, thank you, Sister Ascent. Thank you, Marquise. Uh, shout out to Sister Nandy. Thank you, Astro. Shout yeah. out to y'all. Thank you, to probably your y'all son. You know what I mean? The, the House of Israel all, always winning. Stay winning. Right, right, right. Uh, now I, I, I stepped out. What happened to the uh, Ospi brothers that was on the? Did, uh, somebody said they was mad. Uh, but did, did that? Did that seem like it was fair? Did everything seem like? When it was you fair? gave me the floor, as soon as you left, he butted in, created a condition of argumentative. Oh, I missed that. Left. Okay. Well, uh, Daryl Cosmon, I hope this don't stop you from uh, doing your debate with Gideon. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to. I hope it, I, I, I try to make it as fair as possible. You didn't see me in the way. He was yeah, good. He, was, he just he didn't want to go back and forth with Apostle, but he was okay. good. Feel me, right. he got thank for us for being on the panel. So he was good. Okay, cool. He didn't want to go back with us. I'm doing the best I can to not be like Sarnetta because Sarnetta biased his head. I'm just going to throw it out there. It's the truth. Frankie, this is how you do a debate. Frankie, this is how hey, you do it. Hey, real quick, too. Um, uh, I am on. Uh, you know, I, I apologize, too. I know you're in the chat there, but uh, whatever I said before, you know, I apologize. All right. There you go. Now, I am on. And Carla looked like they was had a disagreement about something. Hey, Y'all ladies can come up here and set up a discussion. It don't have to be a debate. You know, we all adults over here. We don't all have to agree, but the best thing is we can respect each other at the end of the day, right? So, so why is Wait, Neil throwing shots at can I do a, uh, can I, can I, can I, uh Can I plug a, a, a actual uh, social movement? We, we need to save these babies and our young children and definitely saving them from uh, the cosmos. Pulse. Definitely is a step in there. No, seriously. If you want our ch our children's minds are a thing to waste, didn't join in that with a, a bunch of dummies? Like, come on, man, how do you join something where like nothing's literally be substantiated through history? So that's like be building a, a movement off of like freaking, you know, the cat in the hat books. There's literally green eggs and ham. There's literally no historical substantiation for this at all. And but you know what? So us. Hey, you I'm glad you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just take these young people, man. They're, like this is yeah. Like people, like look, people in the chat, they're like, yeah, facts, you No, literally, for our people to follow that when it can't be substantiated by for fact for anything, and babies have died. 
And the leader, he got arrested for uh, pedophilia, but they took it off the internet for some odd reason. I had it years ago. John Newman. Who was John that? Hey, he was, hey, he was a 33rd degree Freemason. Who was yeah. that? So, John Newborough, the guy that wrote the the, the book. Uh, he was he was uh, yeah, that shit off the book. You know, he's into witchcraft. He's a science Incredible. fiction writer. And so he was a see, our, um, medical uh some I think it was a medical dentist. He was a dentist, he yeah. Killed his patient. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. I, th I think yeah. he got off with it though. Yeah. yeah, he was like yeah. William but, Pace. He also a soothsayer. VP Man Man's right though, because King James was a, a, a Mason too. He right about that. Hey, listen, uh, uh, that, that masonry back then was different than the masonry you know now. That was just Christian masonry right. back then. Okay. Well, this not, is, not you taught me something on that. Right. That wasn't like what it was. But let me know. Let, I want to let y'all know I will be picking up this week an AR-15, a uh, 30, 30, a 30 Oct 6. What you doing? A <laughs> Come on, Apostle. Where this come oh, from? I'm don't 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 say that over the air. Don't say that over the air. I can't. It's all he legal. Got license, in, though. The of, he got in the state of South Carolina. Yeah. No, I'm just talking. I, talking, I talking. can carry. Hey, <laughs> it's all legal. <laughs> okay. So, and I'm right. taking advantage of it. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, all right, man. That was a great debate, man. We, uh, Karimi, you can can you show the advertisement before for the other debate? We, oh, we got we got uh, Asar and Ka. Uh, going against uh, 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 Elder Yara, that I know that's lined up. We got I, I got Aaron Yahudin. He's he's having a, pre a preliminary uh, this Friday coming up with uh, I can't pronounce his name. Ben, I think it's Ben Yosef uh, Yeremiah, something like that. Brother, yeah, I'm sorry. Ben Yosef Yeremiah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Thank you. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry if I messed it up. Uh, that's coming up, and this uh, 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 Chief X supposed to be coming back on here to, really? to, state, to state his case <laughs> about the prison, uh, the, the school to prison pipeline. Got to go uh, easy on it. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And uh, I, I'm sorry, I don't got everything lined up in front of me, man. It's been a long debate, but we got some, we got a lot of things. Oh, Neo Love and 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 Zion, Zion Neil, Neil shouting out. Yeah, yeah, they supposed to be getting in the ring, Apostle. Yeah, yeah, and uh, there's a couple other things. I'm sorry I had it in front of me, but uh, Sister Carla uh, says she don't want to have any discussion, so that's cool. Yeah, you know, that, that's all right. You know? Knowledge, you know, what she want to do and what she don't want to do. We can respect that, right? You know, it's all good. You know, I've just I seen the sisters going back and forth, with not really disrespect, but you know, I seen them going back and forth. So maybe I, you know, me, I, if I see something, I'm gonna try to set up the discussion. Yeah. Maybe we can get Carla and uh, Nephilim. Uh, uh, excuse me. Who? Uh, Neftali. They don't have no. I don't even know what they would disagree on. But I don't. I don't know either. But maybe we can. I mean, she's she's going at Nepal again. Who, oh, Natalia is. They they, yeah. they they bitter rivals right there. They always banging. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to F. Shout out to the the second F O P E debate champion. You know, you know, Karen. Carrying the, the, the belt like JJ did, you know I'm the first uh, FOP e champion, debate champion over there. So she's doing good carrying the mantle. I appreciate. Sorry, it. and IS IUPK got got together today. What happened? They they settled their differences, man. Well, they they they, they pseudo stick, stick together. <laughs> you see now. The, the, to our, I mean, let me say something to you, Tazar. It, it's it's time to just go ahead and. Take off that goddamn wrestling belt on your goddamn forehead because it's squeezing your little pre-brain to a pulp. It, you know, it, you, your brain might have been this big, but you got that little wrestling belt on so tight your brain is about this big because what 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 I seen yesterday in that goddamn debate with vocab alone. Congratulations, vocab. You know, you 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 destroyed it, dude. Anytime it's, it, <laughs> I mean, it was bad. <laughs> Then he tried to run by the crowd. Look, look, Matthew 1 and 18, and then it said, and she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. This is what it says. And then he's going to try to skip past it. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. That ain't what we do. There's a lot of things. Come on, Tazar. Then he said, he said, Adam had a, he said, Adam, Adam had a mama and daddy. I mean, bro, you, bro, just, just hang it up. It, this uh, is done. 
And as for you, Garfield, how you disrespected me yesterday, he said anybody can come on the panel and and and, and make a statement about the debate. He will yeah, not me. allow me to come on the panel. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, Pastor. This is what he did to me. So he brings me up there and then he throws me out instantly. Oh, we don't want to hear from JJ. Right. No, he don't even let me out the back chair. But so here's the thing, though. Uh, like I said, now he's trying to do this debate with this ISUP, uh, one of these One West doctor dudes. He, it was the same topic that you ran from me, but you got some other, but you, you kind of narrowed it down. Right. But, yeah, yeah. But right. see. So you you, 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 you forgot? Now you ran and Sarnetta announced that JJ won this debate. I hate winning by forfeits, but Forfeit. hey, hey, you cowered out and you still right. mad about that to this day. Right. You still mad about it to this day. So you know, I, I won't never come back on or try to come on your panel because you're not gonna play with me like I'm some kind of fucking toy. Just bad. Right. throw them off, put them on. Throw them. bro, you will not come off that goddamn panel and debate nobody. Right. And he even got scared you wouldn't even come on your own goddamn master teacher panel with Sarnetta to debate me. You was a clown, yeah. you was a coward, and you was a scam artist, Garfield, and I don't respect you at all. And that's the goddamn truth. JJ, so, he left me in the back check for 45 minutes. I wouldn't even wait that long. I okay. did. But when I signed off, then he said, oh, what's that elder name that be on Sarnetta's show? Like he don't know who you is. Come yeah, on. Like he don't know who I am. Stop it. Stop it. No problem, Aaron. All right. Uh, yeah, man, this was a great debate. Solo, man, we're going to uh, hey, the next, I'm, uh, hey, the next debate, Solo from the shuckle buck, some of you guys. So, uh, 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 Kansu and Kyle, y'all better be prepared because Solo, gonna, we're going to throw the is shuckle buck. Is Solo Israelite, man? No. He, I mean, no, 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 I, no, I don't think, well, I, he answered for himself. I think Solo just believed in a God. I remember, I remember he telling me, but but uh, uh, yeah. What's up? What, what, no, I, I don't really debate with, dudes and real scholars. Okay. You want to have a discussion with this discussion champion, man? Who who who, who you calling out? Solar? Oh, man. Solar. oh, oh, Solar, he calling you out. God damn, discussion champion calling you out. Be okay, careful what you ask for, brother. Uh -oh. Be very you careful like what you ask mm. for. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not asking for anything. I'm just saying, would you like to have a discussion, Bill, with the elder apostle? About what? I, let's see what we can come up with, man. About what? Let's get the preliminary and see what we can come up with. Ooh, okay, well, we, we, we can, we can, you know, how I do? I'll call y'all behind the scenes and, and y'all can go kind of talk and see what y'all hey, agree. I, I ain't but 68 years old, that's all. You're gonna be 69 next year, 69. Right. 69 to me, you're right, right, right. Somebody right say, now, great now, job, JJ, you know, um, with your moderation, thank you, man. You said, uh, sorry, MK and y'all rise debating. Yep, they got a debate. Uh, Karima gonna put the advertisement up. There's something about y'all riding a storm car to be. Yeah, them, them, some of y'all. Yeah, y'all riding who? I want to do the shuffle buck round for that debate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna add that in there. That's gonna be fire. Or like to do the shuffle buck round for that debate. Yeah, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Now, I, I don't know what shuffle buck mean, man. you gonna have to advise me. Okay, yeah, but hold 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 up, champ. We we oh, before we get out of here, we got well, hold on. We got Aaron Yahudin, one of our uh, former champions in the building. I think. Uh, go ahead and tell us what you got going, family, because you got something lined up. Go ahead. I'll mute your mic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the next debate, y'all. Let's go. Yeah. Hey man, first let me know if y'all can hear me, bro. You can hear me right now, JJ. Yeah, we hear you. You want to call out Zion uh, Lex, and then and, and you also tell about what else you got going. Go ahead, family. Uh, shit, man, Shalom, y'all. I ain't been on here in a minute, man. But um, I I got going on, man. I'm trying to like a debate for real. I I can't get one. Um, folks ain't trying to debate. I was supposed to be debating Zion Lex. So I jumped on and talked oh, to today? the brother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, hold up, yeah. boy, you, you jumped on today? Yes. What is that? Huh? What did Zion say? Yeah. He ain't trying to debate. Is this Cosmo or, or Gideon? 
That's Gideon and, and Deb. Apostle, just, uh, Elder, please, just one second, please. Just one second. I'm going to let you get in. Wait a minute now. Zion Lex is, a, is, is leaning towards the New Testament, and he wanted to, to, to debate an Old Testament, and we bring you to the table. And he, what did he say, family? Now, well, well, so pretty much he accepted the debate because most niggas, when they get called out and they got, you know, some e e about what I was coming with. And it threw me off as if it was some smoke channel on Sakari or some shit. The same shit all these niggas do. So I got, I, I know damn well he don't mean what he said. He claimed he's trying to pay attention. He only concerning who the Messiah is for us today, and you know everything was horrible, and he damn sure, you know it's just not gonna happen. From what I seen, so I'm man, I'm with, I'm with whatever. I ain't debated since the last debate I did, and and it's just man, it's just been. I'm trying to lose a lot of respect and hope and family is out here that's trying to be goddamn hurt every day. I really am. So, but but uh, now remember you got a uh, preliminary Friday, right? Or did the brother back out? Man, he ain't trying. Man, he say, I don't know, bro. I'll tap back in with, I'll tap back in with boy that we were talking with, man. But um, right. you already could stay this temperature, man. Like I didn't been down this road before. You know, I've really been down this road before. But all I'm here to say is, first off, Jalom Sadin. It's nice to see folks in the ring. It's nice to see. Folks for any people in the ring, and let's just keep this shit up, like for real. And hey, here's also something I want to say. I see that we got somewhat of a new subject here, and that's what we need to start bringing more to the table of that people. We all got so much going on in our individual lives. We need more um, topics, different contentions. Stop yeah. the same old Yeah. And y'all brothers got to get landline, man. You need that line connection, man. You know, they don't know. Oh, no, everybody yeah, mute. He, 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 uh, he be in the car. Yeah, he in his car. Then he out there in, in Washington. And he be out there fishing in, 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 in like you know spots that you know probably got. He's bad. in Washington D.C. No, 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 no. Washington State. Nah, oh, I think nah. So. Oh, Portland. Where you at, family? He's somewhere out there. In the, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, they got. It's bad, yeah. But hey, you, you see, you see your arch nemesis, you uh, well, not arch nemesis, but you, you and uh, Jeremiah. How many times y'all used to debate? But you know, y'all probably ran out of topics, so we don't even want to see y'all debate no more. Shit. Nah, 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 nah. nah we ain't got the topics. As a matter of fact, uh -oh. as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, he slid in my inbox a few weeks ago asking if I still wanted some smoke. I'm like, bro, oh, we ready? Right now, look though. Look though, we can find a few brand new topics. I ain't hear shit from the boy since. I got brand new topics ready for whoever, man. Like, and it's not about going to war with my own people. Shit, man, I got love for all my brothers. But when you put your neck on the chopping block to teach, preach, and lecture every day, you better be ready to die by what you're talking about in the form of debate. So I I'm yes. definitely trying to see up with somebody, man. Right and, and hold up. King Self said he's he supposed to be coming back to the den. King Self, you need to get. You, I don't know what last time your ass debated. Shit, man, we already yeah. debated. I already debated yeah. King Self, man. And you and for real, for real, I ain't got no quote with the brother, man, because I don't see him out here. Treating. Yeah. And begging niggas for goddamn cash app donations every goddamn day like they a prostitute. I'm sick of this shit, bro. Like, for real. I'm really sick of these niggas begging for cash apps every day, polluting the scriptures so they can get out and money and spit the debate, man. Like, that's real life. Like, shit. Oh, even Jeremiah's even daggone King Seth. Like, yeah, it's cool to go and do debates with folks like this, and it ain't no love lost, but I'm really trying to get at these niggas that claim to be in the little Bible colors. Like, why are all these niggas hiding, bruh? For real. Yeah, man. That's what I say. You know, that's why I, losing respect for niggas every day, bro. For real. From digging her car to Zion Lex to goddamn, I'm man. It really don't matter, man. 
Like I said, it was really insignificant watching niggas twist scriptures for clout. And the former debate ring is where people handle their shit and always have been for for decades. Why niggas acting brand new? Why niggas acting brand new, bro? For real. Mm. I feel you. Well, we're going to find you an opponent, man. I, I want to get you back in the ring. He's also a, a former Lions Den champion. You know, he 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 held the belt for a while. Judah Naz has held the belt for a while. You know what I'm saying? But now we got a new champion on the rise. Elder Zaquan. He ain't taking he ain't taking no hey hey look, he ain't taking he I done messed it up. But he he gonna handle his business. That's right. The oldest champion in Lions Den history. God damn it. And he calling out solar mine. Solomon, you better get your act together because the champ got his eyes on you and he ain't playing no games. All right, ladies and gentlemen, man, this was a great show, man. Like I say, man, the the uh, 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 the, uh, the the polls spoke for itself. You see the judges spoke. Congratulations, Judah Navis. It was a great. Cosmon, you did good, but you went up against a seasoned veteran, you see. But uh, I appreciate the creator game coming over here, man. And representing for them, you know, uh, for uh, fifty-three to uh, forty—I mean, forty-two percent of the audience voted for Cosmon, and fifty-three voted for Judah. And 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 he and, and Cosmon brought a good following with him. I, I like when people support their debaters, man. And, you know, and, and look, we ain't scared to come, you know our guys ain't scared to come over there and do some bills with y'all over there in debate. So we're gonna do that. We can also be going on, you know, tour nights. All of us link up, bro. That's Did you say fifty-three to forty-three? I'm sorry, Apostle. What'd you say? It was uh 53 to 42 or something. Like that. 43. Yes, sir. That's a goddamn landslide. Come on, Apostle. Be nice, man. All right. So with that being said, uh Kyle, have you woke up, brother? Or are you still asleep? I, damn it. I know I, I know it's late hey, over there. Kyle, wake up, man. Yeah. You had my back over there at uh He had your back? Yeah, he had my back. He called you, didn't he? Oh yeah, he showed this. He, yeah, he, he, he said, "JJ, you better get in here. They trying to jump your champion." I said, "What?" That's right. Five or six of them. And I, I, said, and, and I up. yeah, right. I called Q about a minute ago, told him to get over here and bring some of your people. So I'm trying to yeah. set something up with uh, us, uh, uh, you know, Lions Den debaters against Q Butter debater. But he got like, some rookie debaters over there, man. And, and one of his top debaters is Isabio. <laughs> That, that's a joke to me. You know who you remind me of? What's the actor? No, I'm just playing you, buddy. The actor that's a comedian, man. Who, Savio? Yeah, Savio. He's a comedian. He's an actor. I don't know what He's a comedian. Is. And he played in the movie where the husband was getting the bride. He was one of the bridegrooms. What's the guy's is. name, man? The comedian. He sounds just like him. I don't know. Every yeah, time I hear Savio, that Sue's face comes to mind. The actor. Somebody said Eddie Griffin? No, not Eddie Griffin. He mm -hmm. played with um when the dude. God damn, man. It's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out, buddy. Yeah, it's, okay. it's been almost four hours. Hey, man. Sabio is a fucking joke, man. Well, you mean how you think to Corey? How you think to Corey got the name TKO? <laughs> In his very first debate over here, he he knocked Sabio out. I wish I could find that debate. Corey, you still got that debate? We need to show that again, man. God, yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's doing with the more more on his page. Because according to Savio, that shit can't be real. Right. Yeah, I All got right, that ladies. debate. Oh, okay, yeah, we got to show that, man. God damn, that was bad. Yeah, I got that yeah. debate. You know, I'm Garfield was even mad at that man. Garfield got mad at him? Yeah. That man, Garfield was mad. Yeah. It, yeah, Garfield was like, he's like, yeah, I saw that the debate, man, and I like, I don't know how to imitate his voice. He was like, yeah, man, um, he's not really part of that because Squad like that anyway. I like it. Yeah, yeah, well, he, yeah, he, yeah, well he, Sabio found him a home now. Uh, he found him a home. He's over there. I, with I don't know if it's Sabio or Sabio or Fabio or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, well, yeah, yeah, right, but, 
I'm having a hard time. Yeah, but Isabio, Isabio wasn't the first person I debated. The first person I debated was Deacon Hakar on his channel. Yeah, okay. but I, that's over Deacon here. Over that's, here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. 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 I didn't see that debate. You got to show that. Yeah, that's what. They're, they're, bunch of, they're a bunch of pseudo. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on his channel. It's on his channel. It was uh about the mixed race people, like the 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 mamsers and stuff like that, like right. you know things like that. So I was yeah. like, you know. Uh, uh, so apostle, you, would you? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You know, yeah, me, so I, that, I was, that was like in. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Now you good. Now I was saying that that was like in 2017, I think, mm -hmm. that I debated him on his channel. And then he got Gorilla Hebrew. So I'm trying to come and say with Gorilla Hebrew, this nigga muted me every two seconds. Who I was like, that? so I was like, man, you know what? I'm out of here. Gorilla Hebrew. Oh, oh, you're talking about this nigga Deacon? called Gorilla Hebrew on me. Now, Deacon Hakar, he didn't mute me. He, uh -huh, uh -huh. After I debated him, he called Gorilla Hebrew. That's how you know you whooped the nigga ass when he called his big man on you. Yeah, he had to call the big dog. He had to call the big dog. Yeah, so I was, and this nigga kept muting me and shit when I was trying to get my point out, so I just left. I was like, nigga, fuck you. all that. Israel, you want to do a structured debate, we can do one. All of Israel has argued. I just want to see us come together, man. Come together as one. You know the conversation we had, AJ? Yeah. With, I know. With oh, yeah, the other day we were on the phone tonight. I just want to see that but, happen. But they keep, they, they keep going back over there, man. So, yeah. you know, Sarnetta got, got away with, with, with like 98% of the us to say we're going back. So he, he, he plays he, games. He, go ahead. He'll say, I can get a parcel back over here. And what he'll do? He'll call over here. He'll talk to my wife. And my wife will tell me that Sonetta called. I call Sonetta back, but I stopped calling the back. That's good. Yeah. That's it. I stopped. I don't. He didn't call 30 times. I don't mm -hmm. call him. He's still calling. I bet. Yeah. Because he want he want to pit he, like 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 he tried to pit Judah Nazareth against uh uh, Elder Yara. No, if we that's our, if we that's the Israelite business. I know you don't have nothing to do with it, bro. Stay out the goddamn way. You need to deal with your own in house, right? You see, I, I, I ain't really, I, I didn't see Uncle talking stuff about you. I didn't see a lot. Look, have y'all noticed Jabari ain't been back on there? He has distanced himself away from you. I noticed he's he, moved away. His he moved own away. people telling him to stay away. Mm -hmm. Jabari he was telling him to not fool down. with you, Frankie. He his own people are telling them way to tell them to stay away from Sonetta. What'd you say, Karima? I said he I said he better get ready for that trial October the first. What trial? trial? Oh, Sonetta you talking about with the uh yeah. Queen, Queen yeah, Queen uh Queen's throne putting them on trial. Yeah. Oh she is? Yeah. Not just her, it's a, it's a, in the community. They got a they got a collaboration. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I I ain't got all the information, but yeah 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 I'm getting tired, man. Uh, man, like I say, I'm I'm gonna be working on some more uh, debates, getting everybody lined up. I you know, so we, this is what we are gonna do. You know, we are gonna work with each, everybody's different platforms, and we are gonna get it in. So anybody can easily show if they choose to. The sign letter has excused, although he then came back out and said something different. Mm -hmm. Polite behavior All by right. blaming the Most High God. Right. Everybody, anybody that wanted to choose, all they got to do is rerun the tape mm -hmm. of he saying the God of the Bible condoned it. Yeah, man. He yeah. can put any word to it, Drake, great, slate, mm -hmm. that he want. What he is saying, you. it is the most high that's responsible of yeah. raping women and children. 
Well, you know, in the Padnu, the Padnu doctrine is that the, the hundred and forty-four thousand gonna come back and rape all the women. She, 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 oh yeah, she just do stuff for shock value. Well, not only that, just Christ condone cannibalism. Oh, uh, you know this is a weird shit. You know, come on, the party. I mean, god damn. You know, I feel like I'm responsible for that. I should have never took your ass over there. No, no. The thing is, the is reverting back to what she was in the beginning. Okay, there you go. Who was she in the beginning? Being know. raised as a child, Santa Maria. Oh, yeah. Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. That's her culture. That's yeah. what she is. Mm -hmm. She's a witch. She was hating. I, her. Look, I got no problem saying it. I'm not talking about her personally. Yeah, her job. What she's involved in. Right. She was involved in witchcraft as an early age. <laughs> one one Zuga doll six 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 says Kate. Y'all got all kind of new words for it. Crate, Kate, Tate, Escape, Vape. Listen, I don't understand why we can't say it with the R no more. That, what, hey, what, 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 you what, what, me real quick before you we can get out of here. Right. Because you're not justifying it. You're condemning it. Yeah, but they like the, like 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 the uh the AI pick up and oh you can't say that, you know. No, you can say it. Okay. You just gotta say it in its proper context. Okay. Their rape is a violation of the rights of women and children. Uh -huh. Yeah, real quick, real quick. As the after party on Judah Nazareth's channel, uh, if y'all wanna go over there, hit that like, share, subscribe. Anybody in the tour nice that got a, a a a wrench, go ahead and put Judah's uh channel in there so everybody know where to go after this. Like I say, uh, I'm, we're going to be working on some other stuff. Karima, let's get up out of here. It's almost four hours. JJ tired. Man, it, it's, it's hard moderating. I, I I think I did good. I kept it peaceful. I, I didn't get in the way. I don't never really get in the way, period. You know, I just do what a moderator or a host supposed to do. You know? I see, you can learn. From, you can learn from JJ. See, you see how yeah. I handle this debate? This is how you're supposed to do it. You you always got to put your biasness in it. you just dumb in a box of box, man. And with that being said, on that note, uh, we're going to get up out of here and, uh, no, and man. we'll let y'all know the upcoming events. I thank y'all. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. Blessings. Shalom. But I could die. Go ahead, Karima. Whenever you're ready, hit that joint. Hit the, hit the music. Yeah. Hey, Karima. Uh, Karima. Karima. Y'all got it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Give her a call. And, oh, oh, oh yeah, Apostle. And then I, I was trying to set something up with you and Maharaka. That's what I meant to tell you. Oh, I love that. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's that. what I was working on. Yeah, that's what I was working on. Yep. All right, I love that. Yep. All right, fam. Let's get up out of here, man. And Kyle gonna be on here by himself, sleep because everybody else. Got... <laughs> that's why I picked four judges, man. I knew somebody. I know. Just think, if we just been three, we we'd be looking crazy. So yeah, Karima, uh, let's get up out of here, man. Big dog, you you know. He bizzle in the house. Uh, thank you for showing up. Incognito, Marquise L. Let me see who else in here. And then she gonna play the music. Yeah. Uh, Jay Snake Security, Sister Carla. Yeah. Wanzuga, I never seen you, doll 666. Uh, Terry Brown, welcome. Y'all, Daniel, the, the dip stick. Appreciate you. Y'all, son, one of the lines then. Top moderators, indigenous black man. We love y'all, man. Ascent of Phoenix, peace, peace and blessing. The wavy Jew. Yeah, man. Uh, I am Mana. I, 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 I think she's more uh, oh, Ospi, but like I said, Lions didn't got people from all walks of life. That's just what it is over here. Just blaze in the building. I ain't seen it in a while. Uh say la ya ben ya. Thank you. Blizzak always coming in, doing his thing. You know, keeping keeping the chat on their tippy toes. I am John. Thank you. Yeah, man. And whoever else I miss, we appreciate y'all. AMT Amps. Yeah, man. Thank y'all, man. It was a great show, man. And Oashby, I hope y'all feel like I did good and made it fair for everybody. And I hope y'all come back. You know, but it was a great debate. I, I, I really enjoyed it. So with that being said, Karima, whenever you're ready, let's get up out of here. Peace and blessings. Meet your mic, everybody. I'll praise you, most I'll praise you, most you. Yeah, that sound good, y'all. Yo. Kalo. Kalo. What we doing? Hey,
cooked it up, Kali. We still getting to the money. Got these haters in their fear. Little homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my footstools. We ain't got no beef for real. Huh, this here, this how we live. Look here, homie, we still getting to the money. Got these haters in their fear. Little homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my footstools. We ain't got no beef for real. Huh, this here, this how we live. Look here, homie, be still. They said you got the call, they trying to black. Oh, you play like what they own, bro. You can't blackball a boss. Yo, the whole world, they hate Israel. The way you hate your neighbor, might as well pull the trigger on yourself. You know, we get excited by the smoke. Every day we cast and flesh. Say my treasure stored in heaven, we gon' blow the rest. They disrespecting that we check the bank that cause and kept it still. They asking others about my business, but I ain't got no instant miss. See, I still deal with ops direct. Cause your person don't mean you respect. Your outlet don't get no credit if the ox ain't in it. Gonna answer all things and you got all these questions Playing Vic Look, I employ slavery I keep you broke to say it Yo, yo, the rules in the hood Jews in the hood I caught the clues, now I'm good I broke it down, he understood my all to you Feel the through, you found a few, I'm good We what we sold, this here exclusive They like, hey, folk, look what you do We still getting to the money Got these haters in they fear Little homie, let them cheat Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my foot Stoops. We ain't got no beef for real. Huh, this here, this how we live. Look here, homie, we still getting to the money. Got these haters in they fear. Look, homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my foot stoops. We ain't got no beef for real. Huh, this here, this how we live. Look here, homie, be still. Most I told me, be still. Give a room to work. Know my move, we work. Your faith ain't good, don't put the work in. In the spirit, flexing that my day job. Get in the mode out my own, I don't know what they are Before I got the blueprint, and I'm too legit to quit Let the spark in the dark, be a light, got the lead Trying to map my movement, got my haters pondering The ops set the question there, they wanna know if you still lit It hit different, you authentic, a lot of ops pretend We do it for the Lord, got my own motion, who are you to judge? Put most high first, none of them in the spirit, we locked in, they'll come against your clock You know Judas said, yeah, we spit them scripts that barely now Came on slave ships and you not black You know they tell you everything Isaiah 30, 20, yeah we bad You see what happened when they tried to rail the train up off the track Bearing false witness, hit the creek We throw shots back, now they feel heat Must go get it We still getting to the money Got these haters in they fear Little homie, let them cheat Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my foot stools We ain't got no beef for real Huh, this here, this how we live Look here, homie, we still Getting to the money Money, got these haters in they fear. Little homie, let them cheat. Most I told me, Finches hit my enemies, my foot stools. We ain't got no beef for real. Huh, this here, this how we live. Look here, homie, be still. Yeah! We out, man. Love y'all. Shalala Wan Baraka. Peace.